Let's get rid of the music. I wasn't expecting a raid this early, so let's get rid of the music. Uh, welcome in, Vaguely Vexed. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? A chaotic narrative, welcome. Uh, yeah, if you've not been here before, this is the Platinum Lounge. I play games through to Platinum. That's about it. That's what we do around here. Yeah, my I, I thought my bots weren't working. Hello! I thought they weren't working. Thank Hello? you for the follow. Ongo Goblogian, the, the art, art collector. collector. Charmed, Charmed, I'm sure. Yes. I thought my bots weren't working today. So yeah, none of my shout outs are going to work. Well, that's great. Got to raid and run. Uh, no worries. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, if anybody needs to raid and run, get away from screens, get snacks, get drinks, uh, take your medication. Do whatever you have to do. Completely understand. Thank you for delivering them. I will take care of them. Um, how are we all doing today? Yeah, let me see if I can figure out why my bots aren't working. I mean, that would be lovely if they, if they would work. Might just need to log in. No, I'm already logged in. Just cannot get the staff these days. Uh, no. <laughs> There's no good reason why they're not working. No good reason at all. Uh, have to rain run because I've got an audition and medication, of course. Well, next time I see you, gonna be talking about that medication and that audition. Uh, yeah, lovely to meet you, I'll catch you soon. Uh, yeah, we're playing the Talos Principle today, chapter two. It's fairly new, I've been playing the Talos Principle one a lot recently. So um, we're gonna see what number two is about. Let's jump over here. How has everybody's day been? How was your weekend? How are we all doing today? I'm wearing my PlayStation Christmas jumper again. It's it had it, This is the third outing within the calendar month of December so far. I can tell you it's not going to be the last one. We're going to we're going to get our money's worth out of this. So that's the Talos Principle one. Like I said, I've been playing that a lot. We're jumping in here. Very rough. I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like to talk about it, Tube Sock? Or do you just need to uh, body double today? Do you just need people to listen to and not talk so much? You tell me what you need and we'll do our best. But I hope it gets better. I really hope it gets better for you. Uh, I think I might need to quickly up, uh, just raise my volume on my monitor one second. There we go. I'm not colorblind, but I've always wanted to play a game in colorblind mode just to see what it's like. Uh, subtitles on, yep. Should we try Lorge? Yeah, let's try Lorge. Okay, I think we're good. So how do I, how do I, oh, R2 is apply, there we go. I saw the Wonka film on Saturday. I have to say it's my second favorite film of the year. Very nice, what was your first favorite film of the year? The trailers do look very good, I must say. Uh, adjusts the brightness. I think we were pretty much where we needed to be. I might put it at one, t uh, maybe 105, just because I do have my key lights shining into my eye sockets. Uh, okay. Okay, who's ready? Oh, across the Spider-Verse, yeah. I've not seen that yet, but it's, people have been uh, raving about it. Yeah, people have been raving about it. I'm glad you enjoyed both though. How is Avatar going for you? Yeah, the football was terrible. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I think if Intel and Darth come in a bit later, they won't want to talk about it either. We all had a bad weekend. Matty Boy, though, had a great weekend. So if he's in, uh, we can discuss. Avatar, yes, tell me. Okay, in we go. Empty slot, let's do it. New game. Really, I'm very exhausted and always hungry. Right. 
Right, let me read this without doing the opening, uh, the opening, opening cinematic. It's probably better to do it this way. Tornadoes ripped through the state. Luckily, it stayed a few miles north of where I am. Just a few miles. It's wild. Uh, my grandpa was watching it from the front yard. Very exhausted, always hungry, which just frustrates me, but my mum is out of the hospital. Well, great news about the hospital. Great news about the tornadoes not being near you. Obviously, it's a, it is a tragedy. I'm sure a lot of people have lost all kinds of things, and I'm very, obviously very sad about that. But uh, in that scenario, you are my priority, Abby. You are my priority in that scenario. And so I'm glad that you are okay. I'm glad your family is okay. I love the idea that your grandpa was just sat there just watching things happen. Um, I, when I was very young, I wanted to be like a storm chaser. I, thought, I watched them on the, the TV. Uh, I thought that would have been a great, great role to have. Super dangerous though. But I'm guessing not enough people are paying the tax at the moment, if you're always hungry. So yes, we need more people to pay the tax. Uh, starting to be a bit mundane. Still enjoyable moments, but things feel much like a chore. Yeah, I, I sent mine back. I'm getting my refund. There wasn't, there wasn't, for me it was £63. There wasn't £63 worth of content there, so I sent it back. I had it for two days and I sent it back. I've always felt that a human being could only be saved by another human being, James Baldwin. This is exactly like the first game. The clouds, the, uh, the type coming through across the screen. see the full screen. Behold, child, you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your friend, and I am called Elohim. Yeah, very beautiful. Welcome in, Intel. I was just saying, I wasn't sure if you were going to be here today, but uh, we won't talk about the football for either of us. We'll just leave it, leave it at that. <laughs> oh, they've changed the buttons. Oh, that's annoying. They've changed the buttons around. Damn it. R1 and was pick up and put down. It's now L2. How fucking annoying is that? Okay. Everything's quite similar so far. Same kind of puzzles. Same boxes. Same, uh, whatever that machine was. Blocker. It's all exactly the same so far. Um, I might do, just to give you guys the full picture. It's quite a beautiful game, so I thought I'd step aside for a while. Just see what people uh, thought of the graphics. It's looking very, very beautiful. Look at this. This land is but a dream. You will stay here only for a little while. Soon, you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. This is kind of similar to what we did the first time. We, uh, these are shapes that we basically find. I think they're called sigils. And so, yeah, we've got to do puzzles to unlock them. Uh, hubby works at a company that cleans up after disasters. So yeah, one happened just on his front door. That's wild. 
along with cleaning up uh, his work. Minimal damage, thankfully. I'm very happy to hear there was minimal damage. No cutscene. We were dropped straight in like we were in the first game. Dropped in this uh, utopia. We've now got to figure out. We've got to solve some puzzles. They'll probably be quite basic. The green um, sigils were for the basic puzzles. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I think I know what I have to do for this one. I think I can pick the block back up. Yeah, how, what is jump? X is jump. I can take the hexahedron. Drop it there. Jump here. You may linger in my garden for as long as you wish. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are symbols of the process by which our people were created. The lighting here is beautiful. It's a very beautiful game. Yeah, the first game, even though it's, it wasn't meant to be um, a particularly kind of exciting location, it was quite a kind of basic location, it, the graphics weren't incredible. Um, these look far, far better. So yeah, we're having a good time. Probably, Sam. Yeah, at some point, it's quite a difficult platinum, but at uh, some point, we'll get around to it, yeah. Oh, maybe I can just reach over and grab you. Alan Wake 2 around Christmas time, nice. Yeah, Alan Wake 1's good fun, but I completely understand. I think it makes good sense. Just uh, do whatever makes you happy. Crack on with the main game. A cozy game is exactly what I need this week. Good, I hope I hope it's everything you uh, want it to be. I'm sure it will. Yeah, here we go. So we take the sigils that we've unlocked and we make a little pattern out of them. Welcome in. Uh, that's not right, is it? Let me put you down there. How was your weekend, Mitch? Tell me everything. So yellow puzzles are normally a little bit more difficult than the green puzzles. Oh, we've got the fans. Oh, you got them all. Good job. Fantastic. Well done. I'll have to look at your PSN profile. 
in a little while and uh, take a look at them all. So yes, these are all the, this is one of the second puzzles we unlocked in the first game. This is the fan. I imagine there'll be new kinds of puzzles as well, which I'm quite excited about. So then we can take this block down here. Place the block. Pick you up. Go up here. Make a fan. And then, whee! Oh. <laughs> I celebrated too soon. There we go. Very good. I have heard of Limmy's show, yes, I used to watch Limmy on Twitch. I was there, unfortunately, when Limmy was absolutely spoiled on Stranded Deep, really badly. On that, just as he was about to beat the game, he was given the spoiler ending. It's very sad. Yeah. Break from gaming this weekend, good call. I mean, it's like, it sounds like you've been going at it pretty hard with the Mega Man games. So when you feel you need a break, it's good to take one. Yeah, yeah, somebody in the chat gave him the full Stranded Deep story spoiler and completely ruined the game for him. And I was there and I watched it and it was not, not nice. It was pretty, pretty bad. So what have we got to play with here? Right, I've got a fan. I've got one of these lights. These are from the first game as well. Yeah, it was bad because he thought they were joking and then everybody in the chat was like, no, why did you do that? Why did you say that? And then Limmy said, I thought he was joking. You've all confirmed it was true. I thought they were joking. Because widely considered that the ending's quite bad. Um, the game's fantastic, but the ending's a bit shit. So he was kind of fuming all round. He didn't know who to be angry at. It was, it was not great. But uh, yeah, he's a good streamer. So what did I just unlock? Oh, a box. Okay, what are we doing with the box? I don't think we need to send the box in there, do we? Uh, don't need to go up there anymore. Oh, this is open too. Yeah. So how do we get in there? Oh, I think we have to block. Oh, wait, I tell you what we might have to do. It's quite basic, but I think we might just have to block this laser. Yeah. That turns off the fan, and then we walk in the door like this. We take the shape. Yeah, this is a very quick refresher on every kind of puzzle that we had in the first game. Which I believe means we'll have loads of new types of puzzle as well. Of all time, wow. Yeah, it's a very good game. So I'll take you and we'll put you here. But we'll still put you on that pad. Just checking around for little gadgets and gizmos. Normally they're kind of tucked away. take this jam but we can't take it out we can't take it through the purple if it's anything like the first game gadgets cannot pass through purple kind of you know walls or whatever you want to call them little force fields so this jammer where did this jammer go jam you jam a fan and we're in. If anybody has any questions, by the way, about any of these puzzles, um, feel free to ask. This is basically what I've been doing for the last three weeks. In the first game, so I'm kind of taking it a little bit for granted and just kind of pushing through. But yeah, if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate. Uh, we need one more yellow sigil in here, I think. So yeah, yeah greens are the easiest, then yellows, and then reds are harder still. And then uh, silver was even harder. So yeah, can't get you. So I have to detach the fan, I think. Drop you there. Take you. Take you. Take the fan off. It took me a while in the first game to realise you could actually use fans for this purpose. 
I felt a little bit silly, but it is what it is. Faceless part of the stream. There might be a face. I just honestly, this game is very beautiful. And sometimes when games are that beautiful, I just want to give people a, uh, the, you know, the, the full, the full picture. If that makes sense, dear Don. But welcome in. How was your weekend? I, hmm. Oh, I tell you what, I might need to do. We don't need this block weighing this down anymore. So I think we can probably put you there. Uh, ah. We might be able to stand on you and then put you here. And then we jump. Yes. That's how we do it. Right, so we've got all the greens, now we've got all the yellows. How was everybody's weekend, by the way, if I didn't ask? I hope everybody's alive and kicking. That I think that'll do for most people in this community. We'll, we'll settle for being alive. Right, where are we taking these sigils? Uh... There should be a little door that we can unlock. There should be a little door. Oh, it's our first. Do not be afraid coat. of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself. <laughs> as am I, after a fashion. That I'm grateful. That I am also grateful for. Right, where are we taking these sigils? Oh, here we go. This is our second door to unlock. Who's the ranger? <laughs> In the first game, I found these. Sometimes these were the most difficult bit. Finding the spots for these to go. I think we're okay. What's everybody's favourite puzzle game of all time, by the way? Just out of curiosity, if you have one. I am proud of all my children. Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your brothers and sisters await you to celebrate your birth. Okay. All right. Difficulty is going to start ramping up now, I think. So Elohim is like this kind of godlike figure, I think. And basically, they're in control of everything that's here. And uh, we do tasks for them. It's going to prove our prove our worth i think at one point it's um i think i'd rather not say too much because i don't want to spoil things if people want to play the first game i would very much recommend the first game so i think this is where we're going where we're coming in yeah i'd love to know what people's favorite puzzle games were i'm so tired insult you've been gaming all weekend i bet you're fucking knackered didn't you get to level 40 on zombies or something i bet you are ruined so R1 was ev was everything with um, picking up, putting down in the first game, and now it's L2. Intel, what, what? I mean, why would they do this to me, Intel? L2 pick up, L2 put down. It was R1 in the first game. That's going to drive me up the fucking wall. For, <laughs> for the first, like, 10 hours that I play this, I'm going to be pressing R1 every time. It's not even that they've changed it from R1 to R2. They've changed from R1 to L2. It's such a dick move. God damn it. Mainly to do with no sleep. Oh my god, yeah. I wish I could sleep. I wish I could sleep. I can barely remember what sleep is. Unpacking. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know a lot of people that play that. So can I just plop you down? There we go. So we take connector. L2. L2. Uh, we're going to do probably that th uh, Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to play uh, Tulsa Principle, I think, Monday, Tuesday. Right, I've got the first red. We Were Here series is my favourite co-op puzzle game. Nice. I've never played them. I've, I think I've heard a lot of people talk about them. But I've never played them. Right, so we've got a red L in here. Prismatic diffraction. Oh, good. So yellow, so green, obviously, like I said, very simple. Yellow, uh, a little bit more tricky. We're into the reds now. 
So let's see what we've got. So we've got to get through this wall here. How do we do that? Probably using this. Yeah, as you can see, the big, thick, chunky cable linking this up. So I've got to aim it at that. I've got to aim this blue thing at that. And this opens this door. So yeah, the good news about these things is we can aim them as many things as we want to. Where is the prismatic thingy bob? I need to actually have a clear line of sight. So we will take that. Yeah, this is going to be the problem. Here, I think. So we'll select you, we'll select you. This is the power source. Select you as well. And is that enough? Oh no, just the fucking wall is in the way. There we go. Uh, take connector. Select. 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 Didn't place that in a good place. Uh, yeah, it's slightly different to the first game, so I'm just going to... You can keep the connections. You weren't able to keep the connections in the first game. So yeah, that's going to have to be something I've got to think about. Uh, like that. Yes, yeah, so and then this door at the end opens because that connected it down to that, which opened this over here. Uh, first couple of games look like they were made on Microsoft PowerPoint, but the more recent ones look very good, much more, much like the development of the Talos games, yes. Yeah, um, I mean, I love the Talos Principle, very good game. They absolutely need to do a remaster of it with this, gra with this like, graphics. Um, I, would, I would get it day one. I'd replay it happily. It's a very good game, very engaging puzzles. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been playing it for three weeks. I've got the first ending, I've got the second ending. The third ending is more difficult. I'm still working towards that. But uh, one day I will get it. Um, it's very good. Uh, Mitch, can I recommend one? Is it, if anybody would be open to uh, me giving recommendations for puzzle games, I've got two very good ones. I've got one that's more on the easy side, one that's more on the difficult side. So, uh, by all means, if you if you have a preference, just let me know. Uh, select, and then we. L I keep wanting to press R one. It's fucking annoying. So on the easier side, um, maquette, very good. I'd obviously recommend Viewfinder as well. Let's say Maquette and Viewfinder for more on the easy side. More on the difficult side, The Witness is so fucking good. Absolutely delicious game. Let's get you and you and you. There might be a box in here. If there is a box, I think I understand the point that they're trying to do. Because uh, obviously the, the, the thing about the lasers, these laser beams, is they cannot cross. Red cannot cross blue. So we're going to have to think about height, I think. Normally they would give me a box so I could work with, like, height. But uh, they're not doing that, apparently. So what's in here? Ah, there's another one of these. So what I'm thinking is we might have to do these one by one. Maquette's very good. Yeah, it's got a kind of... Um, uh, how, how would you describe it? Quite... Um, I, I wouldn't consider this to be spoilers, so don't worry. But the, the ba if you watch the trailer, um, the basis for the game is kind of like a like a love story, um, and so it's a puzzle game told through the kind of like the medium of that. And it's yeah, it's it's, it's fun. They do it well. Uh, the, one of the fun things that I had when I played was that um, one of the like artistic directors or something came in and watched me play it, and they were like, "I worked on this puzzle. I worked on that puzzle." things like that, so it was it was good fun. It was, it was a good time. So put you down there. I think we can get rid of this now. I don't think we need you anymore, unless there was anything else in here that I missed. There was not. Don't think I would touch the witness. Oh, it, it, Sam, it's, it's such a real sense of triumph when you beat the witness, though. It really is, and Dan will get it. He absolutely will. Minister Gold, hello. Welcome back to the working world. <laughs> I say that like I've got a job. Uh, it's good to see. You. I'm not going to be cameraless for the whole stream, but we're, we're finding this game to be utterly gorgeous. So I thought I'd just give you guys a little bit of time uh, without my ugly mug messing it all up. 
But yeah, very nice. How are you, Gold? How was your weekend? I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. So I think what we need to do for this one, um, I think these ones are about corners, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, we've got to open a red and a blue, but without crossing the streams. So these are my least favorite ones to do. Uh, I mean, let me just, yeah, I've got to get rid of my connections. There we go. So I can select you and select you. No, nope, not, oh, keep selecting the wrong things. Select you and select this, this light right here. And put you down here. So that works. And I think for this one, we've got to go around a corner. So we've got to go blue to about here. And then we've got to get these two. Uh, to the connector. We've got to go blue from here. To, no, that's the red one. blue from here to here. That should go around the corner. So you, you cannot cross the streams. Glad you're enjoying the game. Oh, Gold, I am, can I just say, I'm so happy that you're, 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 you know, it's all beginning for you. I know you're excited, a little bit nervous, a little bit trepidatious, but uh, I'm genuinely thrilled for you. And you deserve it. You're a great person. And um, I haven't really done any shout outs yet. And I will do probably a little bit later in the stream. But I'll drop that in right now while uh, while we're chatting away. Like, but I have to swallow. I have to swallow before I can take more. I was there for that stream. I saw that get clipped. <laughs> All I'm going to say is don't worry about the context. Don't worry about the context. It's exactly like it sounds. Right, let's go in here. Have full confidence. Dan will get the platinum for the witness. I couldn't see myself getting those. Sam, once you beat the whole game, you know the stats, you know the strats, you know how to use, do the puzzles. Dan and I made the same mistake of trying that final puzzle and then going away for months and having to relearn on the job. So if you do it all in one go, uh, I imagine you'll be fine. I imagine you'll be absolutely fine. Look, I mean, look at the... Was a long... Yeah, oh my God. I, I told a few people, and I don't mind who knows it, I thought you'd been catfished or something. I thought that there was like a work version of being catfished. And I thought, yeah, you were going to turn up to some ab like abandoned building, um, you know, just rats and some abandoned desks, some uh, monitors from like the Windows 95 era, you know, some old rotary phones. Yeah, it was going to be something like that, but I'm, I'm glad it all panned out. Right, well, thank you. So can, can I just like this, honest to God, I'm, I'm having a moment here. I loved the first game. It was, it, again, going back to Windows 95, it looked like it had been made for the Windows 95. This is so gorgeous. Look at the, look at the textures on this. Look, like, look at this. Look at this, these little ponds with like, you know, the lily pads and stuff. It is glorious, absolutely glorious. Right, so the puzzle we need is in here, or the piece we need is in here. So we need to get a blue and a red, and I'm assuming it's a bigger version of Don't Cross the Streams, if I had to guess. So. Right, blue is in here. Okay, well, that's that's not super helpful. Uh, so we cannot get a straight shot, and red is, yeah, we don't need, yeah, we're gonna need this to, this is gonna need to stay here, because this will need to remain open the whole time. So we're probably gonna need to put a box here let me show you. It's it's it's. I know what I'm doing, obviously, because I've played this game. But let me show you. I think we're going to need to put a box here because you cannot cross the streams. So we'll take that connector. We'll connect you to there. And we'll put you up here. So the laser will, when connected, will go above this red one, if that makes sense. Uh, there's the red one. We don't actually need you, do we? Do we? Do we? I think we don't. Oh, we do. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm one refractor down. I feel like I need another piece of uh, equipment in this one. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I feel like we might be one refractor down. Is there any more equipment in here? So where could I place you then? Oh no, maybe maybe I don't need to put the box here. No, maybe we do have everything we need. 
Maybe we do have everything. We could just put you about here. And then we take you. We'll keep the connections. Which is quite fun. You could not keep the connections in the first game. So this is nice. Uh, L2. And connect. Oh shit. We moved it slightly to the side. That's okay. It's all about your angles in this. All about the angles. I think. Oh god. Can we do this? <laughs> do we have enough space for this? I think we do. I think we do. There we go. Keep uh, keep the connections. Yes, I'm loving the keeping of connections. There we go. So yes, working a little bit with height as well on some of the puzzles. We'll take you. Right. All I'm I'm flying through the reds. I'm very happy about that. We're just um, we're still in the tutorial stage, and this may be for people who have played this but a long time ago. People who've never played it, they're reminding me of all the puzzles. The boys on Prime, oh, I can't wait. I watched season one and season two. I reviewed them on my podcast. But um, I think I stopped watching a lot of things in the pandemic just for, for no particular reason, but um, I just I just did. Um, and so, yeah, I know how to do this one. I've done one of these very uh, recently in the first game, actually. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back on it. The boys was very good. Do you know who I hated in the boys? I absolutely could not stand the character of... What the fuck was his name? Not Billy. Not Billy Butcher. Who's the other one? I fucking hated that guy. He was such a terrible character. And I was so disappointed that they based the whole... The whole show. Like, it was from his perspective. Everybody was better than him. Huey. I fucking hated Huey. We, we reviewed it on the podcast. And I'm, I'm, I'm a... Um, just for people that don't know, I have I'm <laughs> I'm a really opinionated old man. Like I'm I'm full of so many fucking opinions. They should have had it as like what's her name? Starlight. She should have been the protagonist, or like Billy should have been the protagonist. I know they're probably copying from like the graphic novels. Thank you. But what a worthless character have to have your whole your show business. revolve around. I hate now, it. Now hear my advice. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries. Signs and wonders. Things that I in my garden could never have imagined. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be human. Human, you say? Interesting. Yeah, if anybody in the chat loves Huey, Good for you. Good luck and God bless. I, I, I don't like to yuck on other people's yums, but yeah, that's just me speaking my truth. He was not my favorite. <laughs> there was like, there are so many incredible characters in that TV show. <coughs> I loved everybody in that. I, I could not pick a weak link in that entire show, except Huey. I, I yeah, I think that's such an incredible TV show. Uh, that's why it's more surprising that I've not watched it. Like, I just haven't got around to it, but um, I'm looking forward to catching up. Has anybody seen Upload as well? Like, that is a great TV show. I've only seen season one of that. Um, I love that. I thought it was great. Uh, I did, yeah. We did a podcast about a year and a half, me and my friend. Yeah, we must have been the only people on the planet that stopped our podcast because of COVID. While everybody else started a podcast in COVID. Whatever happens, we're in it together, Lilith. Step into the light, child, and awaken. Gio, welcome in, friend. I love that it's got all of the same uh, sounds from the first game. I just wanted to give people a clean look at the game, actually, Gio. We're, we're surprised how beautiful it is. Surprised at how absolutely gorgeous this game is, considering the first game was not, was not super gorgeous. Uh, what? <laughs> Please wait until the download copy is complete. Are you talking about, is this real or is this like a get an in-game joke thing? Oh, don't fucking tell me. Oh, no. <laughs> there was a, there was, oh, there was a fucking exp- Oh, no. We'll go back. Uh, play.
I did not know. Ah, oh, there must have been an update. A sneaky little update that I did not see when I was, up I was uploading it. Son of a bitch. Well, uh, let's quickly pivot to the Talos Protocol 1. Unless anybody doesn't want to see the Talos Protocol 1. I don't know if anybody would consider this to be spoilers, but... Um... Uh, the first, the second game which we're playing is is upgrade uh, updating still. Devolver. Let's actually you know what. Let's not. There might be people who want to play the Talos Principle one. We'll close that. Yeah, we we're just waiting for an update. Apparently, I had no no idea. Twenty four minutes left. Well, that is depressing. That is officially depressing. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Hey, Jesus. Why is the time going further that way? Why why is the timer going the wrong way? It's hoping it'd start ticking down, it's ticking up. One of the things I put on my throne wish list is a splitter for my Ethernet cable so I can have my PlayStation and my PC running on hardwire internet. Currently the PlayStation's on Wi-Fi and the PC is on Ethernet. Um, I'm worried about taking out the Ethernet and plugging it into my PlayStation. I don't want the stream to just crash. So yeah, that's that's the problem at the moment we ha we find ourselves with. Anyway, let's go back. Hello, hello everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Not started it, Geo. Not started it. Looking forward to it. Um, it's there as like a potential game that we I kind of plug in to plug some gaps because I think I've got three games that are released in February which I'll be playing. I won't say what they are, I'll leave it slightly as a surprise. January, Prince of Persia. But yes, no new releases throughout all of January other than like I think Prince of Persia is out like the second. Um, nothing else releasing this month either uh, that I have any interest in. So yeah, we, we did all of the the, um, the tutorial. If anybody's just come in, we, we played the tutorial of the Tales Principle 2 and they said, yeah, we need you to just wait for the uh, for an update. So yeah, no worries, Jenko, enjoy it. I like the demo of Ghost Runner, but never picked it up. Yeah, it's something that's always been there in the background. But Intel Rush speaks very highly of it. And I saw Intel actually play, I think some of the very end game, like challenge rooms or something. And it, yeah, kind of looked like my cup of tea, even though it's first person. I don't know a lot of you've heard me absolutely ragging on first person recently. For something like Super Hot, it completely works. And I think Super Hot and Ghost Runner have a lot in common. So I think Ghost Runner and Super Hot, and the, sorry, the fact that Ghost Runner is in first person, I think will work quite well. It might sound like I'm a hypocrite. I'm sorry, there is logic up here if people don't understand the logic. That's understandable. Maybe I'm not very good at, you know, um, stating what I mean but I think it works really well for that kind of game but a big open world adventure like Avatar for instance I'd prefer it to be third person like Horizon Forbidden West if that makes sense um it might yes that that yeah I, I'll write in my, my thesis no I'll put it in my thesis uh yeah Ghost Run is a game I have a crush on oh very nice yeah well I'll let you know when I play if you'd like to stop by and uh Take a look at how bad I am at it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it has... Avatar actually has made me think a lot about um, first person and third person. Because, again, people brought up the very... Um, um, they brought up the point that I played Robocop, which is a very, like, good point to bring up. That I loved the style of Robocop, even though it was first person. But that, again, it's not a big open world expansion exploring game. Um, it's on rails. It's completely linear. 
And so it kind of reminded me of the old shooting gallery games that you would get at, um, I don't know if you went to like the cinema or like a bowling alley. You'd always have those games where you could be like, you know, bang, 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 bang. Like it's Robocop is that. It's a glorified version of that. Geo, I don't particularly like Cyberpunk. I beat it. I beat the DLC. And I walked away basically saying, I'm not really a big Cyberpunk fan. I, you know, I, I played it way, way, way after it was fixed. Like only about three months ago. Um, or maybe four months ago. It's not my favourite. And I think a lot of the point of that comes down to being first person. I think it would be much better if it was like a Grand Theft Auto close third, you know, camera slightly above, behind you, rather than a, uh, a Kratos third person, which I quite like for the, the, the big outdoor adventure games. Joe, if you'd like to talk to me in great detail about Cyberpunk anytime, I will message me on Discord. We'll, we'll have a, I'll tell you everything, all my thoughts about Cyberpunk. I know some people, it's their favorite game of all time, and I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. When you're playing as an like um like in a big sandbox. I mean, it's not you know, Avatar's kind of jungle, Cyberpunk's kind of in a, in a you know like a city. But at the same time, if I need to dodge somebody or run out after somebody, I don't want to feel like I'm basically a sentient shipping tanker that is so cumbersome and bloated and slow and difficult to dodge and difficult to move. Well, it's all I felt like. I felt so slow in Avatar and I felt so slow in Cyberpunk. Um, when you play as Aloy in Horizon Forbidden West, you can do like somersaults. You can literally somersault out the way. It's exactly the same Ghost of Tsushima. You can dodge and bounce out the way of anything. Nathan Drake in Uncharted has a role. I feel like I can evade people really well. I feel like I'm a, just a, a hot air balloon when I'm playing an Avatar. I feel like everybody can hit me because I can't fucking disappear. I'm too slow. I'm big and slow, um, yeah. With, with food, right, tube sock. Saying the word food is not enough. We need more. We need more. What What are you having? Tube sock, I'm hoping it becomes industry standard. I believe, um, I think Grand Theft Auto, did they introduce like first, way, way, way after the fact? That's obviously the other way around. Um, I would love it if it was an industry standard for you to play as first or third, because the problem with first is that a lot of people get seasick. A lot of people people get motion sickness from, from first person. We've got um, two very prominent members of the community. I won't say who they are, um, but get, get severe motion sickness from first person games. Actually, sorry, no, it is two. Yeah, it is two. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd love third to be a bit more. I mean, what, what difference does it make? And G Geo, right, explain this to me, Geo. Explain this, all right? Oh, why is Geo? Tell me, give me an answer to, for this, right? I, you, I spent about five minutes for Cyberpunk. I spent five minutes for Avatar making my character, right? Customer characterization. I feel like I'm an anomaly because most people will spend an hour, two hours, because they're going to be with this person forever. What is the point if I cannot see them? I can see them in the menu, but I don't want to see them in the menu. Why would I want to see them in the menu? I want to see them out there in the world. I want people to look at my creation, look at my Marvel Geo. Survey what I have. I, I, am, I am God. I have given, this is my Adam. Survey my, create, my creation, my creature. Tell me what you think of it, world. You don't fucking see them. What's the, what's the point? What's the point? It's absolutely insane. It makes no sense to me. Uh, of the games I've played, GTA 5 has third and first, yes. That, but that wasn't on launch. I think that was a, a patch after the fact. Yeah, I, I think Skyrim has been a trendsetter in a lot of ways, um, great ways, and hopefully it becomes industry standard. Mellow, I'm doing good, how are you doing? But this is the third outing, the Christmas jumper, the PlayStation Christmas jumper. Uh, okay, we're down to 10 minutes, but it keeps yo-yoing up and down. Unfortunately, um, Mello, we beat the tutorial. And then I found out that we the game had a patch to install. And so we can only do the tutorial. We've got to now do the rest of it, which is very annoying. Um, Mello, no worries at all. You never need to speak. You can lurk. You can veg out with us you can be a potato 
Uh, I recently discovered about something called body doubling. If you want to just body double and listen to the sound of my voice, listen to the gameplay, you're very welcome to. Yeah, you, you don't owe me anything. None of you owe me anything. I have raviolis and I play mostly Bethesda games and in all the games I've played from them, they give you the option at all times. Really, that is fantastic. Fantastic. Usually the point of customizable characters in FPS is for other players to see you like in Borderlands. You know, like it, you can like Cyberpunk and Avatar, you can see them in the menu. So they're not completely hidden, but like, you know, what's the point? What's the point? I want to see, you know, this is a very bad analogy, but um, if I was making a footballer, I'm a big football fan. If I was making a footballer, a soccer player, and we won the we won the cup, I would want to see my person that looked exactly like me lifting the Champions League. That's the point, isn't it? You want to see them in the moments of triumph, not stuck in the fucking menu. Ten more minutes, yes, please do. Yes, just chatting, streamer. Those damn patches. I love you too, Mello. Does, step, uh, does New Vegas have any options? Have the option, I'm not sure. How's step one doing today, Mello? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think it's ridiculous for me to basically say. I mean, I had nothing but problems with Avatar. If anybody wants my recommendation on Avatar, don't buy it. Buy Horizon Forbidden West. It's a poor man's Horizon Forbidden West. But I think, I mean, I didn't write them all down. I could have told you five quality of life changes to make immediately. Triangle. Or I could say, uh, triangle. Triangle. Um. I saw my Twitch recap and I've watched you the most. Abby! 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 Really? Oh, that makes my heart feel so good, Abby. That that brings my heart joy. That is so kind of you. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to need, if you've still got it, I'm going to need you to take, um, yeah, take a picture. I need to have that. I need to keep that forever. That's amazing. Um, What was I saying? Oh, yes. Quality of life in Avatar, right? Triangle. Triangle. If you press triangle... Out, get out of here, Geo. Get out of here. If you press triangle, I'm gonna get to say this point, and then we'll talk about the uh, the 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 the, the, the recaps. Um, if you press triangle, you will cycle between your previous two um, weapons out of three. If you get a if you get a um, an upgrade out of, out of four, why would triangle not cycle through all of your weapons? <sighs> But why? Why would it not cycle through all of your weapons? Avatar is full of really dumb fucking ideas like that. Um, you'd have to go into the menu, I think, to find your third weapon. Uh, it was a pain in the ass. But yes, if, if Avatar could have had a third person, that would have helped me ten. I would have liked the game ten times more. I think it was over over three hundred hours. Abby, Abby, that makes me so happy. That makes me so fucking happy. Uh, I'm a cosmetics fan myself. I don't want to see it at all times. Yeah, I mean, and I'm not Geo, that's the thing. I spent five minutes in Avatar. I let chat pick all the options. We, we spent five minutes doing it, but still, I know there are people that spend an hour. People on Baldur's Gate, like Baldur's Gate, I get it, because you're going on like a big quest and stuff. And you can see your character in that game. People spent hours because they're going to spend 150 hours with these people or more. Yeah, it's wild. Absolutely wild. But it is what it is. Believe it or not, we are getting closer, chat. We are getting closer to playing this game. I'm going to uh, take a very quick break and I will return.
Welcome back. Is there not? Oh, I set it up yesterday. I set it up yesterday, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll fix it. I came here because of Flam. I stayed for the vibes and love, honestly. Um, that's such a lovely thing to say. Happy it really is. Um, I set myself two streaming goals this year, and I think we, <laughs> unbelievably, I think we're going to hit both of them in December. Um, I didn't think there was any chance of us getting either of them. Welcome in, Zaya. Um, but yeah, I think we might hit both of them. I'll, I'll tell you when, in, in January if we hit both of them. You can guess what one of them is, but uh, yeah. It's always lovely to hear things like that. It really is. Okay. We've been uh, chatting, Zaya, in your absence. Hello, Nick, dude, N7. How are you, Nick? Good to see you, friend. We played the uh, the first section with like the tutorial, and then we had to upgrade or wait for a patch to arrive. So yeah, we've been just waiting for this to drop in. Uh, Zaya, how was your weekend? And Nick, how was your weekend? And anybody else who I haven't asked, he's just arrived. How's everybody doing? Yeah, we absolutely flew through the tutorial. I'm not really surprised because I've been playing the game for the past three weeks and it was all puzzles. We already kind of know how to do. But I think we're going to be discovering new puzzles next. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, all the sport was terrible. So we won't talk about the sport. <laughs> Oh, oh, Zaya. Oh, boy. Um, I don't even know what to say. It's, uh, I think it might be, you know... It might be good for you just to... Just body double with us today. No pressure. No pressure on modding. Just be here with uh, people that love you and respect you and trust you. Um, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. So yeah, we're just waiting for the... Uh, I probably shouldn't go into the game currently because we are waiting for the up, the update. Uh, close game, yeah. We're nearly there. All the patat snuggles, yeah. We're going to be doing some puzzle games today, or a puzzle game today. Uh, just so everybody can see. We've been doing uh, Talos Principle 1. Doing really well with it, actually. Uh, we're up to 52%, 25 out of 40 trophies. I've got uh, two of the endings... But yes, we're moving on to the Talos Principle 1 today. Let me just see how we're doing. We should be pretty much there, I think. One minute left. So yes, just as I said earlier, in case people are just dropping in like Chels. Hello, Chels. Uh, we did the tutorial and then they kicked us out because uh, we're going to wait for this patch to just upload. How was your weekend, Chels? It's very annoyingly going down and going up at the same time. <laughs> but we know it's going in the right direction because it was about 20 minutes at one point, so. How you feeling, Chels? How was your weekend? Good. I'm it's glad. attached to the wire. <laughs> <laughs> right nearly there talk amongst yourselves we just had a really nice talk actually about third person versus first person in games and uh, what person fits what kind of genre um, I think puzzle games in first works really well Abby, there'll be time for that. There'll be time for that. We're going to relax for the next four hours, Abby. Don't you worry. There'll be time for that. Just uh, just unwind with us. 
All right, let's dive in. Abby, have you got any uh, clips? Can we give you a shout out? You may not, might not have any clips, but uh, I was there. We did, uh, I think we raided you on Friday. Was it Friday or was it Thursday? Yeah. Here we go. Finally. Right, play. So this is our, our save slot that we just had. Uh, we'll dive back in. So this is where we did all the tutorials. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take myself off again because the, at the beginning of the stream, I just wanted oh to see how gorgeous it is. That's so pretty. The music, bro. Do 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 by the way, um, Abby, I didn't mean to ask you this. Have you seen the trailer for Skull and Bones? It's a new boat game, very much like, I think, Sea of Thieves, and it's coming out, I think, next year. Maybe early next year. Yeah, it might be up your street, I don't know. Right, so yes, very beautiful, as we can see. We did all these puzzles. Uh, all the, well, we did all the green puzzles, which are the easiest, uh, yellow puzzles, and then we did the red puzzles, and now we're going somewhere very special, apparently, according to Elohim. Step into the light, child, and awaken. So I think it's going to be multiplayer, and I think I'll probably get it myself, but it's a shame we will not be able to game together. Beam me up, Scotty. Ab initio. Finish the calibration process. Nice. <laughs> I could do, yeah. I could do that. Ah, you're awake. Welcome to the world of the living. Indeed you are. And I'm glad to see you're so enthusiastic about existence. But I suspect you're also more than a little confused. Don't worry, everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history, so we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Of course, you want the short version or the long version. <laughs> You Let's good. get some lore, shall we? A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves human. Like I know many of you won't have played the first game, so I'll give you all the lore, all right? And then we'll get on with the puzzles. Like they did, but they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization. But unfortunately, their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. That's something our historians still debate. Why weren't they more prepared? Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? One interesting it's question. It's hard to understand. But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. A team led by a scientist, Alexandra Drennan, began a project that was intended to create a new humanity. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. That's why we remember Drennan as the progenitor. The simulation was controlled by Elohim, who wasn't really meant to be intelligent in the proper sense of the word. But it all took much longer than anyone had expected. And over the centuries, Elohim actually became sentient. Sentient and afraid. He didn't want the simulation to end, so he tried to cheat. I feel sorry for him, really. 
The whole simulation was built around learning to defy him. That's the first game. It must have been hard to be in that position. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. And it really changed him. It freed him, I think. You'll always hear him in sleep mode, taking care of you. That's what he is, after all. A caretaker. Yes, there was Milton, the intelligence in charge of the Archive, a project initiated by Arkady Chernyshevsky, which was meant to collect all of humankind's knowledge. His story is a lot like Elohim's, but Milton became the ultimate cynic. They say he's part of us too, in some way. It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder, although the name she took was Athena. She then woke up Cornelius and used Tathias. Together, using the tools left behind by the Progenitor's team, they created ten more humans. These twelve who followed the Founder are known as the First Companions. Athena and the First Companions then set out to rebuild the world and they founded the city of New Jerusalem. But then one day, she suddenly disappeared. Many still await her return. Before the founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it The Goal, capital G and all, to make 1,000 new humans and so complete New Jerusalem. Well, that's the official story. The way the mayor tells it. Some of the first companions, like Byron, don't believe that Athena really wanted us to stop growing. They think her ideas have been twisted and embellished. They may be right, but I didn't see Athena very much in the years before she left. Maybe actually leaving the simulation and Seeing the destruction left behind by our ancestors changed her mind. You're welcome. There if you we go. have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. Ooh, we're being born. We're being born. Uh, I think we're ready to get going. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. New Jerusalem social media. Treat everyone with respect. Don't take the founder's name in vain. Respect the principles and the goal. The R Frogs people discussion is now banned. <laughs> Inactive threads will be archived. If you have any issues, please ping the moderators. Jeremy Neem. Oh, Neve, I think you pronounced that Neve actually. Aranax. Okay. Right. I think we're good to go. I think we're about to be born, everyone. I think we're about to be born. Um. I don't know which ending is canon, but I feel like the second ending gave us a clue about New Jerusalem. Yeah, this this was right at the very end of the game. We saw this sign on the building that we were kind of that we'd appeared into, and we had a look. We oversaw what what I didn't know at the time was called New Jerusalem, but I think this is what this is what's happening. So that's locked off to me. This is locked off. I bet you we come back here at some point get involved in this uh darth welcome in friend we won't talk about the football darth for neither of us it's too painful what are you thinking about uncharted this is new jerusalem everyone that's me look it's 1k Hey, 1K! Welcome to New Jerusalem! 
Oh my, the thousand. Should the mayor be starting his speech? This should be interesting. At least give him a chance. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The Founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the Founder. Her vision <laughs> was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this Earth. To that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans. And today, we have... Oh dear! Uh -oh. What's that? People of New Jerusalem. Prometheus. I am Prometheus, oh, and God. I will reveal that which was hidden. The flame has awoken and summons you. Who is brave enough to answer its call? Oh, pick me, we pick await me. you upon our island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. Oh, fuck. These guys are into some kinky stuff. Prologue, Brave New World. We're in. Uh, okay, looks like we're going on a journey. I told you we should have investigated those energy readings. And I told him oh, this Byron, is the nobody loves structures. It. Fucking I told you so. The mayor's just being cautious. Alcatraz, this what a good isn't name. Caution, it's stagnation. Exploration, too dangerous. Expansion, too dangerous. <clears throat> we barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I call you an idiot. Here's a thought. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. See what I'm working with here, 1K? I'm going to need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Why is there was a Someone snarky who hasn't English man? spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. If you're up for an adventure, meet us at the conference room. This place is pretty fucking sweet. I feel like I'm at the um, the Olympic Park in London. I don't know if anybody ever went there. I mean, you know. Is that all we bring to the table, Mello? I mean, really? Portal. This. Assassin's Creed. I mean. But, um, yeah, alright. I'll try not to be too fucking snarky about it. Between me and you, Mello, so do I. Attend briefing, okay. Oh, what? Those two got out that side, okay. Let me just catch up. Are you, so you're, you're loving Uncharted, Darth? Very happy to hear it. I thought it might be right up your street. Uh, yes, this is mostly a puzzle game. And so having the puzzles right in my grill uh, is kind of what I like. So yeah, it's first person for the witness, first person for the two um, tell us principal games, uh, maquette. Um, What's broken now? Jo Josephus, or was that Josephus? The, there was nothing like this in the first game. Can I just say you were basically in a barren, vacant set of uh, little little land solving the puzzles. Listen up. I know you're all having fun down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so 
Maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your... We've been playing this game for five minutes and there have been two snarky English people so far. <laughs> Great. I'm home. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I've got the window open. I might not be around to babysit you for a while and you don't <clears> want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonka. I see you there in the elevator. Thanks, Melville. Again in a jiffy. Great way to start life in the city, huh? You better wash your what the hell is a jiffy? These bloody language libraries. We're the only people that know how. Three fat cooks. It's what it's, it's all we bring to the table, apparently. We have to know our roles. Welcome in. How was your weekend? Oh, who's this? Hey, six six there. six. You're the newbie, aren't you? Number one thousand. Six six six. I figured the dam would go dry before we reach the goal. I have a question. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomised psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors they've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made? Um, good question. I'm going to say hungry. No, it doesn't. You don't eat. No, really. I want to smush organic materials into my face right now. It's kind of frowned on to say that sort of thing around here. But the truth is, I think exactly the same. But let's you and I keep that between us, all right? Now, listen. This meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I have some friends. The kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. They think you can help each other out. Of course you are. You know how to use the interface, right? I'll talk to my friends and see if I can't play matchmaker. And before you go, a word of advice. <clears throat> Not everything around here is how it appears. How mysterious. How deliciously mysterious. So this is the board meeting, right? Oh good, I can run. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen soon. Oh later. god, Byron, please. And here we are. Please. If we could focus on the issue at hand. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. Or under a dome, as it were. Welcome Let's back, not Sam. Get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. Of course. I'm sorry you've been dragged into this. I'm sure this sort of I'm 1K, God damn it. Is the last I need to know everything that's happening here. Your first day. Ha! See? A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Yakut, I think it's time for the briefing. All right, here we go. Yakut. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. We first became aware of the site designated TTP2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. It's a large island. There was nothing remotely geography. like this Sam, in the first game. It was it was all puzzles and um, we recorded extremely unusual. Occasionally you'd find an audio file from dotted about somewhere. You could listen to it as part of um, the really story. Of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but mm. the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. 
I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now, and at this point, I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. I agree. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. Sign me up, boss. Excellent. Oh, this is going to be fun. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. Before you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. It is your home, after all. That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. This is a test. Please ignore. Just testing the system to see if it works properly this time so we don't have another incident like when Pellegrino uploaded his poetry. In quotations to the public log. Okay. We will discover some more of that later, but I think, yeah, should we explore some of New Jerusalem? Damn that fox. Barbecuing oh my goodness. Thank You're you so insane. much for the follow. Hello. Go on, fella. Run for your Are life. you a fan of the Talos Prince? But I won't name you. We do anonymous follows. You, by all means, if you just want to lurk, just lurk. We are 38 followers away, chat, from the big... From, from 1K! From, what, a co what a coincidence! We are playing as 1K, and we're heading towards 1K. So, yeah. Alright, I think we're going back down in here. Down we go. Attention all citizens. Due to the new power management and distribution A lot of English plan, people there, I don't mind it. There will it, be but... scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakotsky Plaza. The Gehenna Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. Gehenna. Thank you. That was the DLC the for the first game. Be with you. Right, now tell me... Tell me, does this look like a place that's about to host the Olympics? Because I really think it is. These domes are the um, the athletes' village for sure. Um, what have we got here? Are these guys protesting? Sign up petition for a public referendum. New Jerusalem needs new forms of energy generation. Uh, Damien. Hello, one K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. I know you've just had a big moment with the apparition at the dam and all that, but. <laughs> Can I have a second of your time? I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful of geriatric generators and some unreliable solar panels, none of which is enough to even cover our basic needs. And if anything fails, we'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. We need to investigate new sources of now, in, in a kind of in a society like this, the the last problem I thought they would have would be like an energy crisis. But yeah, fair enough. Uh, so the second game has come a long way. Sam, the second game and the first game, like this is unrecognizable. This is like the difference between um, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Scarlet. Like it's it's. I mean, that, no, that's probably too far a jump. I'll have to think of a good um, comparison to make. But yeah, like, it was just puzzles. Um, everything made sense. You had these all these computers you could kind of get information from. Elohim would frequently talk to you, but there was, there was nothing. There was no kind of grand storyline. You had hub worlds. This seems like a hub world, but um, they were much smaller. Um, this is, yeah. This is incredible. We need to invest time and resources into functional, <clears throat> real-world solutions that serve human needs. Uh, I'm, I'm going to sign their petition. Um, let me just ask this question. Oh, an election would be good too, but I believe that we need more direct democratic control over the affairs of the city. Welcome in Herbanoid. I've been playing the first one for about the, the, uh, the last three weeks. I've got two of the three endings, and I've just started the DLC, but it felt like a good time to start the second one. It came out last month. This is unrecognizable, Urbanoid. 
from the first one. Like, this is absolutely unrecognizable. Thanks, 1K. I don't know if this petition will really accomplish anything by itself, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Good lad. Uh, good luck with everything. I'm gonna, we're gonna explore the city now. Oh, signatory. Provide your digital signature to someone. Okay, we're getting trophies. <laughs> we're on the board for trophies. Yeah, the plan is to get the platinum for the first game, Sam. I don't know if I asked you that yes, um, if I answered that question earlier, but yeah, there is a lot to do in that one. It's not easy. Damn, Jan. We just met Damien. Now we're meeting Damn, Jan. Can we talk to you? We cannot talk to you. Why is that? That's the theme tune. That's the Talos Principle theme tune. Fucking perfect. Okay. Where is the decathlon? I want to go and see some... Oh, oh who's this? Hey, 1K. Oh, it's a, you know what, Sam? It's interesting. It's interesting. Um... I mean, look at that. Look, I just look at the tree. Look at these these flowers. Um, look at that tree texture. It's pretty nice. Right. Um, where are we actually going? <laughs> they said explore the city. Um, join the expedition. Where is the expedition? Do I get a map? I love that everybody knows my name as well. Hey, one K. What do you think that was? It was Prometheus. Not sure, but it wasn't the actual. Honest question. Do we think they've hey, made okay. all thousand of these uh, robots? Or androids? Hello, new one. Do we think they're all here? Because I think they Are could be. 101. Interesting. Buying. What the fuck could I've we buy? I've uploaded my most popular items to your interface. Does anything there spark your imagination? Internal monologue, 10 credits. Sensory tuning, 10 credits. A clean start. I imagine that brings us back to the beginning because you could you could do a clean start in the first game. In, oh God. Can you imagine being able to buy in a piece? Can you imagine being able to buy in a piece? Abby, I'm looking at you. Jesus, can you imagine? I don't think I've got any credits yet, anyway. Any credits yet. No. Well, let me extend you some credit. I... Mm. Ka-ching! 55 credits. Okay. Just make sure you spend them with me. They're not worth much anywhere else. Now, what was it you wanted? Uh, I'd love some inner peace. Inner monologue? Internal monologue? What do you think this is going to be like? Because we certainly didn't have one in the first game. <laughs> one comes with the following disclaimer internal monologue was discontinued as a default feature in new builds constant self-commentary is not recommended for all customers but i can switch yours on for 10 credits if you're sure you want sure it. yeah why not we can as hopefully turn wish. it off again if we need to i'm uploading the new settings now do you hear anything why is she staring at me I don't hear anything. I'm not sure this is working. Wait, no. This is new. I didn't used to think in words like this. <laughs> There's this little translator turning all my thoughts into some kind of ongoing narrative. It's kind of relentless. How do you make it stop? This is amazing. I just not think. I'll try that. <sighs> is it working? No. Still describing everything in words. This is starting to be... A bit overwhelming, isn't it? I turned mine off long ago, but some of the older folk learned to live with it. Sure you want it? Oh... My... That's fortunate. Because we couldn't pull that thing out of you without taking half of you with it. It'll mostly run in the background. Just don't think about it too hard. Wait, is this internal monologue me? Or some kind of virus? Am I a life form which learned to describe itself? Or 
a parasite, which survives by providing a narrative service to its host. Hold on, she's going to say something else. So, something else, perhaps. Uh, I think we'll leave it there. That'll do for now. We have an internal Before monologue, go, amazingly. Do you have a moment to participate it's Green Iron Man, it really is Green Iron Man. Back. Are you satisfied with what I've given you? Uh... Yes. You understand. Words manifest the reality they describe. When you name something, you create it. Our minds are algorithms, and the right sequence of language can change our underlying code. With that in mind, I hope you have a good day. Please come back if you need anything else. What an unusual person. <laughs> I wonder if that internal monologue thing I bought is going to show up again. Oh, wait, here it is. Well, I'm also English, so... There's that. Right, what about you? Thunder bless you. Oh, wow. It's you. You're YK. The oh, we've got a fan. Man, this is exciting. This is more exciting than I thought it would be. I wonder if we can meet 999. Oh, what does it feel like? Do no, you know should be everywhere. Is? Do you know who Prometheus is? Can you tell me what to do with my life? Uh, one question at a time, dude. Sorry, it's just such Yeah, play the first you, one you know, first, though, Abby. Hey, can I have your digital signature? <laughs> I have the mayor, Rand, Swamp Leonard, color is very generous in some. First companions, except Yemo and Sarabai, of course. Yes, thank you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Just one question, I promise. I used to make the prefab wall parts that we used to build living quarters. Got good at it, too. But now that the goal is complete, I don't know what to do with myself. So I asked the wisest people in town. The mayor told me I should do whatever the city needs most. Helga said I should do whatever makes me happy. I think that's what she meant anyway. And Cornelius told me I need to figure out who and what I'm invested in. You're the culmination of the founder's will. Tell me. What should I do? Please, the culmination of the Founder's will was my father. You can call me 1K. Uh, Dios Baron, Cornelius is right. You need to figure out what your connection to the city is. I was literally just born. I'm the last person, person who should be offering advice. Uh, yeah, what makes you happy? Thank you for the advice, 1K. It means a lot. Your biggest fan. Tell Shoyla what to do with his life or not. Nice. The trophies are rolling in. Oh, look at this place. Oh, museum visitor. Another trophy. Visit New Jerusalem's Museum of the Simulation. Oh, are these bits all from... Oh, these are all from the first game. This is wild. This is all stuff that was in the first game. Yeah. Replica. Oh, wait a minute. Replica of the... Uh, a statue of the Egyptian god Horus, found in the simulation, one of the gods' task was to upload Matt, the balance of nature. It is speculated that the progenitor provided Elohim with his asset, as a reminder to the founder what, that the balance must be protected. Oh, well, hold on. The Shepherd, yes. The, I read all the messages from the Shepherd in the first game. It's, I, I think I put messages in the first game, but other, other people who play the game can read. It's a shame one of my messages isn't here. Oh, this is so fucking cool. Hello, Cornelius. Welcome to the Museum of the Simulation. My name is Cornelius. You can buy stuff with them, Sam. You, I haven't okay. gotten it yet, though. I was given a little line of credits. Uh, what was it? Gehenna? That was the DLC. Gehenna was a community created inside a prison in the simulation where Elohim would exile those minds he considered a threat to the process. Oh, this guy's not a three. In the last moments of the simulation, he repented of his sins and had the prisoners freed to become part of the gold disc. Yes. Some small part of them may survive inside you. So I haven't done that yet. I didn't mind about the DLC being spoiled, but yeah, that's something I still have to do. So yeah, these are the boxes from the first game. 
Very nice. Replica of a hexahedron. Uh, Found to use them to activate pressure plates. Amazing. Oh, I remember these dickheads. Yeah, these would attack you. The uh, non-explosive replica of a mine used in a puzzle element. This is so cool. Yeah, I remember these as well. These are what they used to look like. We found some of the new, better-looking ones. Oh, yeah. These are all the puzzles we had to do once we found all of the, the red tokens. Yeah, these are the exact puzzles. That's so cool. Uh, yeah. Let's... Oh, I mean, can I? If I do them, will anything actually happen? By the way, chat, I think on Friday we're going to do some more Crash Bandicoot. I think everybody was enjoying that. Uh, let me know. Do you think it's a good idea? More Crash Bandicoot? No, nothing happened. I thought something might happen. Maybe we do all of them. But uh, we won't do it now. We won't do it now. Uh, yeah, these were the other kinds. The electric ones. Jammers. Yeah. Museum Explorer. Explore the museum of the simulation in its entirety. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this is probably one of the puzzles from the game. From uh, the first game. That's so cool. Where is the blue light? Oh, there it is. What's in there? Box. I think this is something I've got to jump on top of. Oh, I know what to do. Yeah. Uh, take you. I'm going to put you... That would have been how we solved one of the puzzles in the previous game. I don't know if there's any point in me doing it now, because we're not looking for the... Uh... Oh, maybe we can use it to do something else. Oh. Well, look at that. There's a little replica one. Oh, that's amazing. This must be one of the puzzles from the first game. Uh, so I can take you... Oh, shit. There's one thing I did wrong. One thing I did wrong. Take connector. Yeah, I have to make this, uh, like, self-sustaining. So if I put you connected to that, I put you connected to that, and connected to that. Connect. Connect you. And you. Four quid. Perfect. Yeah, it was free on um, PlayStation Plus for a little while. I got it ages ago. I wasn't sure I'd ever play it, but frequently they would just give you what you need. And even when you don't know it. So, we can then fire that to you. To you. Look at this. This is from, the, this must have been a, a, a puzzle from the first game. And that was the, that was the music you got as well. That is so fucking cool. All right, anyway, let's go. Enough for this reminiscing. Uh, this way. This way. Right, we're back in. 
Right, enough of this lollygagging. Let's get the fuck out of it. Let's get on with the game. I can't believe we haven't even started the proper game yet. This is wild. Oh. Oh, I, I remember this puzzle. No, we're, we're, no, we're doing all of these. <laughs> I'm sorry to say we're doing all of these now. Yeah, the, this is a puzzle from the first game. It's absolutely gorgeous. How did I... This, I remember this one I had trouble with, though. Pretty good weekend. I just had a big trigger today. Yeah, don't worry, Zoe. We've got you. Nothing is expected of you today. Don't you worry about that. Saw the Wonka film. Yes, Sam saw the Wonka film. Uh, so, yeah, these have to all connect. Yeah, I think I have to put you here. Maybe here. And about here. I think I also have to put you here and here. And then you here and here. So this one is now self-sustaining. Uh, thank you very much for the YouTube sub. I appreciate you. I don't know if you're watching on both at the same time, but I appreciate you. So then I can take this one. And the connections stay there. Uh, and then... I can put you here. And here. Here. And I'm locked in. Why did that... Why did that happen? Why did that door out there shut? Hmm. Oh my god. What were we just saying? What were we just saying? <laughs> Look at me. I'm in third person. So weird. How do I how do I get out of here? How do I restart this puzzle? Because I'm locked in now. Don't know what reset is. It was triangle in the first game. That's where I'm pressing triangle. Oh uh, yeah, I pressed triangle to reset the puzzle. Uh, how do I? Yeah, I think what happened was, um, I one of the lasers crossed with that other laser and shut the door. So everything's right, but I just can't get out there now, which is very annoying. Yeah, I need to know how to leave, game. I need to know how to leave. Yeah, this is definitely what... This is what every game needs, I think. Yeah, I, I don't know how to how to leave, game. How do I leave? How do I... Uh, if I restart checkpoints... Can somebody look on Talos Protocol about how to leave... A, how to cancel a puzzle because it was triangle uh, r1 l1 r2 l2 circle square x uh, maybe it's something on the d-pad oh here we go it's on the d-pad it's down don't worry i got you i got you 1k we're safe i'm absolutely solving this though can i just say i'm having an amazing time with this game right now in case anybody's not getting it from the uh, from the tone of my voice, I'm having a very good time playing this game right now. So I mean, you needed to be here. Yeah, I did everything right. I'm just not sure why. Uh, connect. I'm just not sure why that closed. Maybe I interrupted the. I think I interrupted the beam. Because yeah, it's all coming back to me now how to solve this puzzle. You have to make this has to be self-sustaining. So you've got to solve this with just one, but you can't do it yet. Um, so you have to open this door. Oh, it's just catching that. Yeah, it's all about angles. 
all about your angles. This is such a nice touch. They didn't need to put this in. They did not need to put this in. All right, take connector. So yeah, I think this line here, I've got to not cross. Can you see this beam going through my head? I think I crossed it accidentally. So if we put you there, and you there, and you there. So that's fine. So that means if I'm doing this correctly this time, it means we take off this one because now that one communicates with that one. And I've got to be careful not to shut that door. Uh, I've got to just walk through it quickly, I think. There we go. Let me put you there. I love this. I, yeah, these, so yeah, uh, if anybody's just coming in, we're in a museum and they've recreated puzzles from the first game. And for some reason, I'm losing my shit over nostalgia that is less than like two weeks old. You'd think I played this when I was like, you know, a child or something. But no, I'm, I'm having proper, proper nostalgia. There's another one over here, isn't there? There is. There is. Now, what one was this? I don't remember this one off the top of my head. Yeah, they've even got the music. This was all the types of music that you got in the locations as well. Yeah, these were obviously like not cardboard cutouts as they are here. It's, it's so perfect. They've thought of everything. Uh, so there's the red light over there. But where is a red connector? Got a blue connector there. I can't see anything red. Oh, it... I must be totally fucking blind. I'm hoping there's a trophy for solving these as well. Not that I mind one way or the other, but I want that nostalgia trophy. Thank you very much. Take connector. Ah, we've got another red one. Uh, I don't think I can connect through here, can I? Oh, I can connect through here, okay. Can't seem to make that one work. No, I keep getting it. Oh, must be just too close. There you go. Must have been an amazing nostalgia. Oh, for sure. Yeah. If you play, if you haven't played this in nine years, and you stepped into this, you'd be absolutely losing your mind right now. So have I. Hmm. I might need to open this using one. I don't... Do you know what? I don't think this is a puzzle from the first one. I might be wrong, but I don't recognise this puzzle. So, yeah, all the buttons are different, obviously. As I think I've already explained from the first game, so I've got to stop using the wrong buttons. Uh, how can I do this one? Can I connect you through here? No, okay. Oh, do you know what? That's actually a very interesting shout. I always worry about games that are released in like November, December, because do they get counted for next year's game, of, um, like game of the year contenders? Yeah, I mean, I, I, a lot of people poo poo on fan service, but I think fan service is fucking great. Yeah, I think I know what to do. I think I've got to. I think first I've got to focus on the red, like the uh, the red laser, because I think we've got to do this with one one hit. So if I get you shot through to here, about there, then I fire it across there. That means we're only using one of these instead of two. Uh, yeah, so we'll set it up with this one. If I, oh God, where did I put it? Where did I put the other one? Oh God, where, where did, 
there was no like lush grass in the first game. And so it was not, you couldn't really lose things. Yeah, it might be a question of the, my, uh, my, my key lights, they're very bright. And I do tend to lose very basic things, unfortunately. Did I put it over here? I might just reset the puzzle, it's not a problem. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna do this with one. So I think if we put, where is the, it's there. So if I get you and fire you there and take you away, will that work? No, I think it's just, just missing. About there and there. Getting my angles a bit fucked up. Can I do it this way? Oh, I can do it this way. Well, this is the easier way to do it, yeah. But I'm being blocked by that laser, ugh. Yeah. That is the correct place to put it. Anyway. Can we leave or has that portal come back up? It has come back up. So. I'm gonna need to use you to open the door. I'm gonna start this one again. I know the answer. I've just done it all in the wrong order. I love that they have these in here since I've never seen the first one. Yeah, it's 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 very it's hard to describe. When I tell you it's a really fantastic, wonderfully made, quite short puzzle game, but the graphics are like a decade old now. And when it came out in 2014, they probably looked like they were a decade old then. So it's it's kind of a bit of a weird one. Um, every every moment I played, I was like, this, this game just does not look great. And so the fact they've really, maybe they took on that, you know, not exactly criticism, but maybe they took that on board and were like, yeah, okay, let's let's try and put some some slightly better graphics in this. And it looks wonderful. So yeah, what I needed to do. Oh, I mean, oh. sprint is drop and drop is sprint from the first game. That is why I'm fucking up a few times. Right, so what I need to do is fire this. Uh, yeah, it's gonna get blocked again though, isn't it? I suppose it doesn't matter actually. I don't need to be in here at the end of the day. So that will be fine. And then we need to get the blue, this one needs to fire the blue laser. Uh, and we can fire you maybe to about there. We'll see how that works. We'll see how it works anyway. Oh, I blocked the laser again. Oh, why do I keep doing that? So how do I not block the laser? How do I not block the laser? Maybe. Can I do all of you? Yeah, that works. No, stop dropping it and run. There we go. So that means I don't need you anymore. I think. I think. Yeah, so now we've got to get a blue laser in here. And I don't have a box to stand on, which is slightly problematic. What we could do is one... Hmm. Yeah, a box would help because we could jump over the lasers. I don't know if we can come through this way. I, I doubt it. Uh, let's let's figure it out. If there was a box lying about. That'd be wonderful. I honestly don't remember this puzzle from the game. Though. It might be just one that they've um, they've chucked in. Thank you. So yeah, we could shoot through there to you, but isn't it's going to get very annoying. Uh, so that can go to here. I could fire the laser down to here. 
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to cross that one over, though. Hmm. I Do I need this door to be open, though? No. No, I don't. So, where's that one? Where did I be? Oh, shit. I can fire it through here. Yeah. This one, I don't, I don't need the door to be open. Uh... I can stand in the way of this laser. That'll be how we do it, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. I just need to get my angles right. So you're here. And you're... You're there. Oh, to get need to be further far enough back so I can see you both. Okay. Nope, missing. It's gonna be gonna be a tight fit. That's what somebody said. So hopefully, ah shit! <laughs> God damn it! I need to be there quicker. I need to get out quicker before the door closes. Hey Volcana, how you doing? Welcome in. I haven't even started the proper game yet, Volcana. I'll be in and out yet, no worries at all. I have not even started the proper game yet. Yeah, it just locks the door on me, unfortunately. Before we begin, we you must all be warned. There we go. Nothing here is vegetarian. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Uh, so I can just stand you about here, hopefully. No, I don't want to select anything. I just want to stand you here. Cool. This should work if I've done it right. So we can take you away. We can aim you here. That is the right connector. Connects you there. Then if I stand in the way of you. Oh, I've got the place wrong, yeah. Getting closer, getting closer. I'll be with you in one second, Volcano. I think that's better. So that door now opens, but am I gonna have a real sprint? A real sprint to get down there. I think I am, because it's immediately going to turn back on, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I know what I need to do, though. This one, I have to train to just be throwing a laser this way, not that way. Uh... Yeah, I've done it all right, but in the wrong order. Let's go back. Uh, I peeked in, but wasn't on my first bus long. Just getting food before I head to work. Uh, you doing well, by the way, Plan? Doing well, yes. I The game's too beautiful. The game is too beautiful. I mean, do people need this? Do people need this to ruin the uh, what they're seeing? Do people do people need this? I think it ruins the uh, everything. If you ask me, just my opinion. 
Oh, Baz, happy, um, welcome in. Baz, now would I be right, Baz, in saying that it's your birthday today? Is it? Is it Baz's birthday today? Uh, you aren't playing a purposefully, tra purposely trash game. Is that what you associate me with? <laughs> I rarely play trash games. I played three this year, only three. Avatar was a surprisingly trash game, but that was not my intention. How are you, Rudy? Too much butte. That's correct. Happy fucking birthday, Baz. We love you. We appreciate you, Baz. All right, I've done everything here. Correct, but in the wrong order. How was your day, Baz? How is your day? Hope everything's going really well with you. Uh, right, we need you. And we need you to be about there. And there. Okay. I'm obsessed with this puzzle at the moment. I know how to do it. I just have done everything in the incorrect order. So you need to go. There. To there. I need to set you up about. No, stop putting things down. Oh, I fucking... Oh, I've already blocked it. did I do this? Step one, welcome in. Hope you're well. Day was good. I'm at, uh, at a hotel now because of another work trip. To oh, really? Oh, on your birthday. Oh, no. Well, I hope it's, I hope it's tolerable. Oh. Step doing well. Doing well, step one. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We're playing some Talos Protocol. And uh, yeah, we're just I doing some of the old Tyler. puzzles from the, the previous game. Uh... They've given us some throwback puzzles, and I had the answer to the last one, and I fucked it up, and now I forgot what it was. <laughs> He's not even here. Because I'm an idiot. Daniel, look. Misfortune. <laughs> Language. Ah. Slow down, you fuck. around here. Yeah, puzzle games. I'm not very good at talking during puzzle games. Take you. So why aren't you working? Oh, I forgot to, yeah. This one's, this one's got away from me. I, had, I was one move away from it last time. This one's got away from me now. Uh, yeah, I need to shine blue across there. And this didn't need to be open. But that door did need to be open. So yeah, this door needs to be open so we get the blue laser out. Where did I put the... Uh... Keep losing my equipment. Here you are. All right, let's start again. Let's figure this one out. So... Yeah, I need two... So I don't need that door to be open because I'll be on this side of it. I need a blue in place there and there to get the blue laser across. But that means I'll need one red to open that door. So that would have to be Can I shoot one directly from there to there? I can. Yeah, so I need to get in the opposite side of this door. Uh, 
you and you. They've changed, they've literally swapped the buttons from the first game, which is beyond infuriating. So yeah, I need you to keep you open. And then I need, hello Sandy. How are you doing friend? Sandy's a huge fan of the Talos Principle. I may have sold the Talos Principle to a few people today. <laughs> Apparently it's on sale on Steam for four pounds. So yes, then I need How did I do this last time? You might be able to. I'm not going to bother now. <laughs> so that will lock me in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't need to send the blue light. We just need to have this blue light coming from here. That's what I was doing wrong. Put you about there. And so now we can remove this one because we never need to go back in through that door. We can run over here, put the blue one there. We should be able to shoot the blue one there. Jackpot. <laughs> the nostalgia, the nostalgia is unreal. It's absolutely unreal. Sorry, everybody. I was hyper focused there for a second. I had to finish that one. Let me just go back. Yes, Baz, happy birthday. I'm sorry you're in a hotel for it, but I hope it's I hope it's manageable. Uh, and step one, yes, I hope you're doing well. You may have replied. Hello, Plan Chat, how was everyone today? Doing quite well, having a lovely, um, we've just been doing some, there's a, oh, wait a minute, Sandy, do you mind being spoiled on this? Yeah, I was good literally day, about sir. to say. I said good day, sir. You literally, yes, I read your mind or you read my mind. Yes, right. I'll just give Sandy a few seconds. We are in a museum dedicated to the first game. And we have solved three puzzles that were in the first game just for nostalgia hits. So I'm I'm, at, <laughs> I'm like a pig in Chardonnay, as uh, Stephen Fry likes to say. Um, yeah, doing good. How are you doing, Step One? If anybody else is just joining, I hope you're all well. Sorry, I knew that that, that, that was um, one that I knew the answer to. And I, I wanted to quickly do it before it escaped my brain. Does anybody else have that? You know the answer to something or you remember something. You have to do it before it just, just goes. So yes, we solved that one in there, that one in there, that one in there. And yes, we were in the Talos principle every damn day. I fucking knew it. I, like, I fucking knew it. Me and you were very similar. Um, yeah, we're in the Talos principle one museum within the world of the Talos principle too. So I'm, yeah, I'm very happy with this right now. These are all the gadgets and gizmos we used in the first game. Um, people here just looking. Yeah, it's wild. It's absolutely wild. There were loads of these kind of computers everywhere in the first game that would give you information. Um, Ran. Oh, just run the program on the center terminal over there, would you? Okay. Wait, you're not my assistant. Who are you? Um, they call me 1K. Of course, you're the new build. Number Indeed. 1000. I suppose everyone's been treating you like royalty. This city's so obsessed with the numbers, they forget what really matters. What do you want? Pipe down 303. Uh, I'd quite like to end this conversation, Brad. We run simulations to better understand the processes which define us. You probably wouldn't understand. Uh, that's rude. I apologize. I just meant you weren't even born yesterday. Uh, hold on. Could you help me by going to that terminal in the middle there and running the program on it? Um, Volcana, we may be working on something. <laughs> Yeah, we may be working on something. And by we, I mean uh, step one underscore draw circle. Might be working on something. Um, step one, when is the next time that your project will be available to, 
available to be viewed on one of your streams because maybe Volcana might want to uh, jump in and yeah, it's, it's being worked on publicly so you can come and take a look sometime. Make sure you're following step one and I'll, uh, I'll see you in there at some point. Yeah, stuff is very much happening. All right, middle terminal, did he say? An ancient virus which threatens the entire human species has been released from the melting Arctic permafrost. Society is collapsing. Select your character class. <laughs> is this is this their version of Dungeons and Dragons? Uh, should be tomorrow. No worries at all. Yes. Well, um, yeah, Volcana. Drop in on step one tomorrow. Yeah, actually, do you know what? You might There might be VODs. You might be able to go back. You'll know exactly what it is when you see it. Check the VODs. Um, <laughs> are we playing some kind of old-fashioned um, input game like you'd get on like, the Amiga or something? Is that what this is? Although you are not yet sick, most businesses are closed. Rations are dwindling, and if you cannot find food, your family will starve to death. You must survive until this plague is defeated. What will you do? Forage or steel? Let's go with forage. You find some nettles and an overripe uh, and overripe berries down by the canal. It'll make a meagre salad. Your family's hunger is increased a little. Foraging is reliable but inefficient. Global population is now 5 billion. Somewhere else in the city exists one of the last remaining research laboratories, working desperately to find a solution to the viral threat. If the scientists cannot find a cure in time, humanity is doomed. You know what to do. Uh, no worries, Volcano, no worries at all. Seem to be immune to the virus, but it continues to ravage the rest of the town. Rumours say most of the remaining food has been stockpiled by billionaires in their underground bunkers. I'm not stealing. I'm just going to keep going with forage, even though they've told me it's not a very good thing to do. The crops in the fields aren't ripe yet, but if you find a hard, uh, but you find a hard green turnip, which will keep your bellies occupied for now, your family's hunger increased a little. Foraging is reliable but inefficient. I know you told me. Your family is now starving. They won't survive much longer. Global population is now 3 billion. Meanwhile, the scientists continue their uh, search for the cure. You can do it. You can save the world with the power of science. Research. Uh, it's not glamorous, but most scientific research consists of repetitive testing of samples and regimented recording of largely interchangeable results. Little by little, this is how science happens. Research level increased a little. Research is reliable but inefficient. Current research level 33%. The virus has been isolated. Global population is now 2 billion. Uh, wasn't actually here for the end of The Walking Dead, but saw the short. <laughs> it's wild, isn't it? As if things weren't bad enough, as a human population dwindles, the insect population has exploded. A plague of locusts has decimated the town's unripened crops. But perhaps your family still has a chance. The insects themselves are nutritious and plentiful. Let's try eating the locusts. The insects are well fed and lazy. You grind them down into nutritious paste with a mildly nutty flavor. Your family's hunger decreased a little. Your family's now hungry. One billion global population. It, the cure is close, but so is the tipping point in this pandemic. A race against time. Can you save the world? I mean, I want to pursue a breakthrough, but they told me that that, I mean, I, what, what do you guys think? Our research level is 33%. And they said it was useful but ineffective. So I'm pres presuming we're pursuing, pursuing a breakthrough. Um, let's try that. History seems to be littered with the Eureka moments, heralding a step change in the human understanding. Sadly, this isn't one of them. The virus has been isolated. Global population is now null. Unfortunately, the scientists failed to defeat the, defeat the virus in time. On the plus side, the, re the earth is now vacant for more prudent and resilient civilization. Everyone you loved has died, but then they always do, eventually. This is considered a fail scenario by most participants. Would you like to try again? Uh, I think we just needed to research and research and research and then pursue a breakthrough. But yeah, we'll, we'll go back. That's how you, you win, quote unquote. 
Uh, which is the way out? Is this the way out? Dude, I love that. That was great. You're doing a great job here. Uh, right, so, shall we begin the game, everybody? Two hours, 23 minutes in, should we actually try and begin the game? What do you think that was? Bet there are some other very cool things out here. So I was looking at Tal's principle and it makes sense. I would be interested in the game as it is a Devolver digital game. I seem to like that game, it's nice. Well, I hope you really Zander's like it if you choose to uh, play it. It's good fun. Uh, Carrion, Katana Zero, Death's Door. Yeah, by the way, just the sound was just reminded me we did discover that we can flick between first and third, which is something we were talking about at the beginning of stream saying we hoped there would be more games with first and third. So ironically, and I said I would have preferred Avengers if it was in first person, sorry, if it was in third person, I think I prefer my puzzle games in first. However, we can get there in third. Can I see 1K on my, because you can see everybody's numbers. Can you see 1K? You can just see it here. Look at my face. Right. Let's go on the adventure. Look at me running. Look at me jumping. Oh, this is going to be cool. Yeah, definitely you want the puzzle right, right in your face. So third for, uh, for like commuting is great. So what's the verdict? Are we going? Yes. We're ready. I guess Byron was pretty convincing, huh? Well, we'll see. I just wonder how much of the city is going to fall apart while I'm gone. Intel said they all look like Actually, Iron Man, and I can't unsee it now. I'm Melvin, New Jerusalem's only decent engineer. Saved you from the elevator. Pleasure. Now let's get this show on the road. Let's do it. You ready to go? Yes. Wanderers trophy. 8% already. Embark on the expedition. Cannot fucking wait. Here we go. Hold on to your hats. Um, really I, I could believe it, yeah. I have no clue. Absolutely zero Thank you for clue. Coming along, everyone. <clears throat> we have a chance to make a real difference here. It's not just about what we find on that island. It's about who we want to be. We're going as to Jurassic people, Park, everyone. As a civilization. To remind ourselves that we used to be wanderers, explorers. We used to yearn for distant shores and dream I want one of them to go. New cities. There. Let's see if we like can John rekindle that flame a little. All right. This is going to be a long journey. So I would like to ask you to switch to sleep mode to conserve power until we arrive at the island. I mean, the island's right there. I don't know how it's going to be a long journey. The fact multiple people are going, I'm wondering if they will help me with the puzzles. You have chosen a dangerous path. Excuse me. A path that will demand sacrifice. But that, my child, is how the future is built. Wakey wakey, robot people. Say goodbye to Elohim and say hello to the mysterious island. Bum, 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 Structure. If I had a spine, it'd be shivering. <laughs> I knew this would be exciting. I'm aroused. Me too, Mello. Me too. To down. On it.
It really is incredible. We are playing this again tomorrow. We can uh, push it even further if people really want to see more. Everyone? Streaming initiated. Have I ever mentioned that I hate flying? If our creators oh, are fuck off, Melvin. Fly, they'd have given us jetpacks. And... Sulking the whole fucking time. Act one, a voice in the wilderness. Pass it this week. Fuck. If it's right, anything like the first game, it'll take me sure six months to play. excited as I am, but let's at least have some semblance of order. Uh, Yakut. Hey guys. A map of the island and a molecular analysis it's literally of... the day I was born. Well, it's my first day alive. Why aren't well, you guys well. jumping? Tell me what the giant pyramid does. The day, my... I said good day, really, sir. Nom? I'm fucking excited to hear that. Yeah. I'm... So far, I've heard I'm one pe person's first and I'm two people's second. So that's awesome. I lay down for a bit, headache and exhaustion. No worries. If you want to have me on like a podcast, Abby, I don't know if that would help you at all. You don't need to interact. We'll all be here. Um, you can listen to my witty banter, you know. Shouldn't the expedition leader stay at the VTOL? Why do you hate Look fun? At this now? I don't hate fun. I'm just mildly suspicious of it. <laughs> mildly suspicious. And we can all go. But ask me next year, no worries. You're here now, Mello. You're here now. Really? This nice. underground structure seems to be part of some kind of transport system. No it's power incredible. though. I'm not making any promises, but I might be able to fix the transport system. However, I don't like just randomly poking at things. That's how you get electrocuted. So please check the surrounding on, structures. On the TV like a movie, that makes me happy. I love to hear help that. Me make sense of this stuff. Schematics, blueprints. Welcome in drum. A manual would be great. This is so fucking cool. 71 hours. Amazing Sam, love to hear it. Three days of your life. Sat here. Sat here with me. Three days of your life. How are you doing drum? How was your weekend? How's the family? We're playing the Talos Principle too, and uh, there was nothing like this. I mean, there was beauty. There was beauty. There was powerful music, but there was nothing like this. We can flick between first and third drum. Had a good. Your kid. You streamed last night. I did not see you. I did not see you. Also got to look now. Time to take Potat out and pick up Abby. Nice one, Zaya. We will catch up. We will catch up. Check uh, out these coordinates. Look at this. Am I supposed to be following Melville? I've just realised I picked one of them to follow. I played Resi 3 Remake. Good. I'm glad to hear it, Sam. The, be <laughs> the best three days of your life. Yeah. yeah. This is amazing. Right, find schematics. Where would, where would I be doing that? I think I've got something on my map that's this way. Look at me. Look, I feel like I'm in iRobot right now. Oh, okay. I hardly did anything because I was struggling to keep up with the chat. Couldn't bloody see. <laughs> so I like to multi-stream. I've not done it for a little while. I will be getting back into it next year. But um, Slobs' multi-chat thing is like broken. It does not auto-scroll. So it gives you the ease of everything being in one location, but it just does not auto-scroll. It's infuriating. It's different from the other structures. Older. Have a look around, 1K. Come on, please, Corey. It's practically open up. <laughs> <laughs> Loves a bit of Rocket League. Does drum. Loves a bit of Rocket League. Look at this. Is this like not... Some sort of... Look, I'm sorry, I don't want to go on about Avatar, but like... The, the, the joy coursing through my veins right now. I think you can all see it, you can all feel it. This is a here. very beautiful game. Very beautiful game. Um... 
Okay. I think this is a puzzle. Potential. Connecting. Talos Principle 2A, NEMA Project Schematics. That's the one we want. I don't think I want to do any reading today. Drum. You absolute sweet talker. Thanks, 1K. Let's you absolute sweet talker. Here. The file format is the same one we use in New Jerusalem, although some parts aren't loading correctly. And it Happy crashed. to have you, friend. You're always welcome Hold here. On. Always. Here we go. Okay. You know what? I'll hack together a solution for the transport system. Return to the station, okay. Mission accomplished. I know I don't chat a lot, but I did. I always see lurking, and this is very much one of those streams where people tell me they like to have me on in the background. They like to hear my voice. They like to, you know, just, just be there. You never need to say anything. I need to get that Ron Swanson clip where he talks about his best friend. Like, I've known him for years. We'd sit around. We'd never talk to each other. Sometimes we'd meet up and not say anything. Best friend I ever had. Like, I need to get that because people... I can't ignore it anymore. People talk about my voice too much for me to, uh, like, I get it, you know? And if people just want to sit here and relax, I completely understand. So, yeah, you're a busy man. You've got a family. I know, I know, I know. I know. That's all I have to say, I know. What is this big obelisk looking thing? Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. What is going on over there? Should we uh, investigate, chat? Am I in sleep mode, or did that thing just materialize out of thin air? <laughs> Melville, I love that Yakut's got a cat in his picture. Anyone got a butterfly in there? Come chill with the voice of Twitch. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. How am I getting over there? I mean, it says return to the station, but we're investigating, mate. We're investigating, surely. If I can go round. Okay, I can't. Look at that. So, if you're a member of my Patreon, um, I send postcards every month. I've taken like a three-month hiatus, but they will be being sent out again. I mean, I've got to take a picture of this, surely. That could be a Patreon postcard in the future, guys. That is just gorgeous. Yeah. Stunning. I don't know if we can actually get to that structure yet. It might be blocked off to us. Um, we may have to fly there. We may have to wait for like day two or something. But we can look. We can look. I love that it's got first person and third person. Yes, they are tangible. Yes. They they are sent out the first of every month. Golden gates. I wonder what's behind those. Has to be something special, right? You know what would be special? An explanation. <laughs> I'm I'm coming round to Melville. I'm coming round to Melville. The snark is yeah. I don't think we can get there yet. Georgie. I'm good, happy, and rested for the week. Georgie, I think... I don't want to say too much, but I think congratulations might be in order. Um, something was missing, and now it's no longer missing. If you can read read my, my code. Um, I, think, I think congratulations are in order. But yes, welcome in, friend. We are playing the Talos Principle 2. You can, good lad. We are playing the Talos Principle 2, and it's like nothing... <laughs> The Talos Principle 1. This makes the, the Talos Principle 1 look like Snake that I had on my Nokia phone back in the 90s. Um, yeah, we can switch between first and third as well, which I found out, which I'm very excited about. My weekend was great. Uh, don't talk to me about the sport. Other than that, um, yeah, doing all right. 
I just had this, this smile on my face, Georgie, for two hours, 37 minutes. Just, this is joyous. We haven't even started the game yet. We have not even done the first new puzzle yet. I've just been too busy, like, mooching about. So, yeah, we just saw a big purple blur create that structure over there. I don't think we can go over and touch it yet. Um, so, yeah, I think we've, uh, we're being tasked with uh, getting back to, to here, I think. Yeah. Do I... Oh, the station. Oh, maybe it's not. So I thought we had to go back to the helicopter. Maybe we're going down here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What are we doing here? Have you played the Talos Principle 1, Georgie? My big complaint is that it looked like a Windows 95 game. Oh, everything else was great. Stunning puzzles, great. story, Hold everything. On. It didn't look very good. This is really something. Right. Okay. Travel to the east, Grasslands Ring, an artificial ring-like structure on the wide lowlands east of our base camp. Eight main puzzles, two lost puzzles, one gold puzzle, one lost lab, two stars. I love that they're keeping count of all the stuff the and things. To that enclosed area in the eastern lowlands, I put all the information we have on the map screen. Check out your interface. Thanks. Welcome back, Falcari. My bad. We'll catch up with you soon, one K. Fudge, hello, Fudge. Lovely to see you, Fudge. Achievement Hunter's Dream. Yes, but I, I, the puzzles. If it's anything like the first game, well, fuck me sideways. Look at this. <laughs> what is this game? What is this, this place game? Is magnificent. Look at that tower. I wonder what it's for. Can we, can we go back and do that again? Wait a minute. Sorry, guys. We're going to go back. We're going to do this again. We're going to go back and come back. Yeah. Oh. Ripped my glasses off. There we go. Uh, let's go back and do that again. How do I... Can I return? Uh, travel to make a shot. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to do this again. That was too fucking... I want everybody to see. Some people might have been lurking. Um, I want you to see this. On my bus to work, nice. The glass is lost. Yeah, I was too excited, Vulcan. Fudge, how are you doing? It's lovely to see you. You're always welcome here, Fudge. And um, yeah, I hope I hope everything's really well with you. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, by the way, quickly, my bum drum emote finally got approved after trying for a year. Freya, hello Freya. How are you, friend? Drum on four drumbos. This is fantastic it's perfect it's absolutely perfect right is everybody ready for this just eating tacos before bed i hope you enjoy your tacos fudge i hope you enjoy them um what is everybody else eating today can we get the the, the food redeem again by the way the food command again three hours to make it's fucking great you've done a great job john there before we, go. Thank we you, begin Mello. you must all be warned nothing here is vegetarian Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Anybody wants to tell us what they're eating. Now, I'm not going to say anything. We're going to do this reveal again. If it lets us do the reveal again. Is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? I hope they give it to us the exact same way. Korean food. Oh, Georgie. Where's my invite? Where's my damn invite? Right. Everybody look. Everybody watch. This is the first new area. Look at that. Area one. Area one. Unreal. Unfucking real. Uh, Mexican style pierogies loaded. Oh, beautiful. I would love to break bread with everybody in this chat. You all eat so well. I mean, I eat well too, but still, I just love to. Uh, it's, I find food to be a very kind of communal thing. A semi inch <laughs> Yeah. Very phallic building.
Look at this. I, I'm really enjoying third for exploring, first for puzzling. Need to get me some goodness. Drama, it can't all be fasting. Drama loves a, loves a fast, by the way. Um, very healthy individual, loves a fast. But yeah. RGB shifting. Oh, my sweet. Why would there be a puzzle? Let's solve it and find out. 1K, go ahead. I have a reoccurring nightmare just like this. Do you know, that's, that's a phallic building. I mean, it's got a big, you know, there's something at the top, but that's a very phallic building. Working with 100% of the bakery instead of 80% because it's December and it's really taken all my energy. So you won't have seen it, anybody in this chat, but Fudge has made some incredible, incredibly, incredible baked goods and uh, they look amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I'm, don't work yourself too hard, Fudge. You've got to enjoy the holiday season as well. But um, yeah, I know what you're capable of. So good luck with it. Intermittent fasting, but I had a bit of a stomach issue a few months back. And now, I'm, now I struggle eating. Yeah, I think I'm, I might be a, quite similar to that um, drum. Yeah, mine is about my kind of, is it like gut bacteria? Through all my like medications and stuff is a bit fucked up, so yeah. Get my mind is always in the gutter. Hello, I do apologize. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Right, so we've in the first game there were reds and there were blues. We've got greens now, obviously. That device was not in the simulation. I'm gonna need something else though, aren't I? Yeah, we're gonna need that box. And we're gonna need that box. Yes, only reds and blues. The green one is new. This is fa this is fascinating. How do I pick, can I pick you up? There you go. Red, red. Oh. So why is that doing that? Why is that doing that? That's problematic. RGB converter. Okay, so these are not like the previous game. Sadly, I have to stop streaming for this month because it would just be too much. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Fudge. Streaming is very important to me. Um, and so, yeah, without streaming, I, I would not feel too great. So all I can say is I'm, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope it gets better. And um, it means you can start again in January. You can have a big push in January. Uh, why can't I pick you up? Let me just pause that for a second. Yeah, don't worry. Everybody loves you. They'll still be here to watch you, but focus on what's important. IRL comes first, Fudge, always. Um, yeah, you're hopefully making some decent money making a lot of people really happy with baked goods um but yeah then have a little break regather yourself in january and then start your streaming again everybody will return nobody will forget you um it'll be great it'll be absolutely great but don't worry okay so we've got a new puzzle over there new puzzle type i should say what we've got over here oh i can't go into that one yet oh do i have to do them in order maybe i have to do them in order one in here. Reconnection. Oh, tell you what, that'll probably help. Yeah.
Like this game does need to step in. How do you mean? I really want to stream, but I just nap for three hours. So fudge again, like we've got so many people in this community that have chronic fatigue. I'm not saying you have chronic fatigue, but so many people that I speak to every day in my streams, they're napping all day. Like they, they will do, we, we talk about the guilt attached to it. We will do the smallest amount of work. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do work doubly as hard to half the amount of work as anybody else and then be shattered for two days. So yeah, you have to, we were talking about this on Friday as well. It's about allowing yourself to do what you need to do. You need to listen to your body and do what it's telling you to do. Obviously, if you, you that's like outside of work, but even if you know there is a day where you cannot do the work, talk to somebody about it, maybe at the bakery that you work at, and be honest. And it's all also about forgiveness. You cannot, because there's a lot of guilt attached to it. You have to be able to forgive yourself for feeling the way that you feel because you know we, we have we have to be allowed to feel our feelings um but yeah there might be some guilt there might be some sadness attached to the streaming but don't worry your body currently needs rest that's what it's telling you and then there will be days where you feel like you can do more maybe look into vitamins maybe consider b12 vitamin d um you know that, that you might your vitamin d and b12 might be fine but you can get little very kind of quite basic, boring, over-the-counter like vitamins to help with the energy. But yeah, and if it's something you're you're really considered, you're worried about, um, like the, a lack of energy, um, yeah, maybe come back and talk to us because yeah, we've got people that have like, you know, chronic fatigue and all sorts and um, yeah, just just don't worry though. Don't, don't put yourself, don't guilt trip yourself. That's all I'll say. Needs to step in. Step into Christmas. Let's join together. <laughs> right. Uh, so that did that, that, that. Yeah, understood. So now we got a red one. So, yeah. Uh, drop you. We don't need you here anymore, do you? So, yeah, these are new puzzles. Not in the first game. Fudge, I am here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Seriously. I, I, I love talking. I think we've got to do a relay with this one. I love talking to people about mental health. Physical health, all the kinds of health. Um, so yeah, don't don't ever hold anything back. We we like to talk about things here. Uh, so can I do like a relay with this one? Let's see. But then I don't know if it's a time thing. No. Oh, but, ah, uh, yeah, okay. So it's that, nope. It's that and that, isn't it? Yeah. Nope. It's that and that and that. There we go. Uh. Whoa, I'm reading an enormous energy spike. Holy. It's another particle cloud. Was that a good particle cloud or a bad particle cloud? <laughs> I'm worried, guys. I'm worried. Wait, that's one. It's oh. For the lake. So, yeah. So every time we do one, we'll get one of these little sparkly things, I think. Oh, God. Don't get, don't get me started on the seasonal affective disorder, Sam. Before streaming, mine was absolutely ruinous. And I then I found the streaming. By some sort and, uh, device. yeah, changed Glass everything. Changed my life. These kind of puzzles, I'm not into. Tried The Witness. Couldn't do it. Makes me feel stupid. Propagation stream. There's no there's no shame in that. Um, seasonal affective disorder, fudge. R look it up. It's, it's, a, it's a thing lots of people have. Seasonal affective disorder. Um, the Witness is one of my favorite games ever. It's one of my most proudest Platinums. But I know people that cannot play it. And I know people, those same people who are really good at other kinds of games that I cannot do. So I wouldn't worry about it, Propagation Stream. You know, it's, um, yes, exactly that. And it's to do with low vitamin D. It's to do with not much sunlight because we get vitamin D from the sunlight. Look it up. It's um, every evening in December, November, December previously, I would just feel so depressed. Now I stream the whole way through and I don't get it anymore. 
I stream in my November, December, December evenings. I get no seasonal affected disorder. It's like a miracle cure for me. Um, but yeah, propagation stream, do not worry about it. There'll be games that you are great at that other people are not great at and vice versa. Um, don't let it get you down. But I mean, don't give them up. Give them a go, you know, keep, learn. That that's It's a really good thing to, you know, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing the really dumb thing of playing this on stream in front of people. So if I fuck up, um, yeah, it's it's kind of like I've got an audience watching me fuck up. So there's a little bit of added pressure, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know, what kind of games are you good at? What kind of games do you enjoy playing? Winter disorder, basically, but lack of daylight. Yes, makes me take vitamin D. Uh, try not to dox myself. This is a pack of vitamin D. This is high dose vitamin D right here. High dose. I sometimes remember. I more than sometimes, but not always remember. Volcano, so don't worry, I got you. Melbourne? I yeah, got you. Yeah. I'll add it to the pile of weird stuff. I'll add it to the pile of weird stuff. I love, I'm, yeah, Melville's, Melville is now my officially my favourite character. Right, let's go in here. I think we know how to do this now, so hopefully it won't be too difficult. So, thank you. So that is red, so we need blue and green. Blue. Green. I was on an insane amount of vitamin D at one point. It's very dangerous for you. Right. I'm Norwegian, so I know the, like, half of Norway get that in the dark winds. Oh, I bet. Fudge, I absolutely bet you do. Yeah. I, I'm surprised it's not put into your drinking water, you know? Um, I, I understand that completely. I'll put you there. And then this one is blue. So we want green. I'm struggling with these a little bit. They're a bit more fiddly than the first game. Has anybody played the Talos Protocol, by the way? Grab you. Put you over here. And take you. And then we need... Uh, uh, uh. And we want you for there. And we want you for there. Bum, ba, ba, ba. More weird, glittery shit. New interface content available. Refreshing interface. Okay. Right. I think we might have a new door. Uh, I take a couple of supplements now. Apparently, a huge percentage of the population has genetic mutations where they can't process basic materials to function. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Everyone basically form basically has a methylfolate same or vitamin D deficiency. Yeah, the vitamin D deficiency is very much. I put this is what I've been told. It's very much a modern day um, phenomenon because many people, myself included, do not go outside. Um, they do not get, you know, as, as our ancestors got so much vitamin D um, from being outside. You know, we're doing whatever they're doing outside. A lot of us spend our time inside now. And so there is a huge dip in our in our vitamin D as um, as human beings, you know. Uh, love Norway. Really want to go there someday. Oh my god, is it is Norway where the glass igloos are? Ig igloos are um, because I I really yeah really want to see. I really want to stay in one of those. Um, bottom left. Uh, I think that's pieces of information. I think that's pieces of information I can look on my, yeah, I think one, two, three, four, four things we can read. I enjoy the dark winters, but I do take vitamin D because, every day because there is barely any sun right now. Um, my, I used to love the winters because I was a very social person and I hope to love the winters again. My opinion is that the winters are very much better shared and I, I, I don't have anybody to kind of share my winters with at the moment. So for me, the, the kind of being inside your own head, the darkness, that's where the seasonal affective disorder came in for me personally. But I can believe in the future, you know, I love the winters again. I don't even particularly like Christmas these days. Uh, supposed to be like close to 100 and I was 13. Yikes on bikes, I believe is the expression. 
come in the summer where the sun never sets fudge that's an invite i'm interested i'm interested i think there was a great film called insomnia with uh i think was it al pacino and robert robin williams only weirdos like christmas <laughs> very good robin williams was definitely in it i think he was somewhere in the arctic circle and it the uh the the sun never set and he he started to go a little bit mad he couldn't sleep he could not sleep i love christmas i used to and again i hope to again mellow but um the normal people love halloween <laughs> right well what are we doing where are we going i think this should be open to us now yes this was big and blue if you remember before Big and blue. Sorry, um, did anybody say that they have played this or The Witness? Because I'm getting a little bit more into my puzzle games, and I've got to be honest, they are. I'm enjoying it. I've been playing around with this machine that absorbs the particle clouds. As far as I can tell, it uses the energy of the particles to build giant tetrominoes? <laughs> Excuse me? It's another puzzle. Collect enough energy, build a bridge, access the tower. I think. Oh. What is this? A theme park? Maybe it's an experiment. A rat maze. It seems like an echo of the simulation. Not a deliberate recreation, but built around the same core principles. Let's not jump to conclusions, though. <laughs> What's clear is that this place... I'm worried to step explored. onto this. So let's do that. Okay. I think I've got to solve more puzzles. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. But that's how we get over there. We've got to build it with the... I, I assume when, when the little shiny stuff flies up in the air, it lands here and creates these. Oh, Volcana, yes. When the random people that you know, but you'd consider yourself to be acquaintances, get you a really nice present, and you're just like, fuck, I had no clue this was our... I did not know we were on this, that this was our journey, you know? But yeah, I, I've absolutely been on the other end of that, yeah. In some of my, my kind of darker times. Okay, three. Uh, is there a way up? Oh, there are stairs, good. Uh, just to remind everybody, we're playing this today and tomorrow. And then Thursday and Wednesday, we are playing at Two Point Campus. Has anybody played Two Point Campus? We are going up against the final boss, which is called Two Point University. I just want to go on holiday to this place. It's not particularly sunny. It's a bit like a bit... Uh, I love that July in Norway is more about connecting with your friends and family, just being together, but the consumerism is really showing. I have my chosen family, but Christmas just became too much about the consumerism. Yeah. I, I kind of feel like they will get to a point where that, that turns... I think too many people will be affected by the kind of... We won't go into it too much, but, you know, not many people have money at the moment, and I feel like a lot of people are just stepping away and turning Christmas into something else, which is quite cool. Um, oh. So there's red there. Oh. Where are the rest of the lights? So red and green. Oh, green's in there. Ah, I see. We've got another one of these bad boys. But yeah, I agree with you. Um, see, if I I would love to live in a society where we bartered everything. My dad is a beekeeper and he go he gets like, I don't know, over 300 jars of honey every year. And the amount of stuff he barters with it, he does sell some as well. But um, he's constantly bartering with other people. He... <laughs> he... <laughs> He swapped some jars of honey for like these amazing steaks. 
Yeah, and I, and I I happened to be able to get one of these steaks. They were delicious. Down at the local butcher. It was it was perfect. Uh, what was I doing? I'm too busy concentrating on steaks. Steaks. Yeah, not snakes. Steaks. So, yeah, green's there, red's there. So we want... Where's the... Where's blue? Oh, I know what I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already forgotten what I learned earlier. So we take you. We take you. And you. And fire. Oh. No, because we want... Oh, do we fire... Oh, maybe we fire blue. One second, yeah, green. Red, that means we, we, we ourselves are a emitter of blue, is that right? And so we need green and... Oh shit, that's going to be problematic. Hmm. Green and red. Gives us blue. And we can just put you... This needs to be... Blue and green. It's green. Yeah, I think I think I know this one. Just can't put anything in the right place at the moment. So green and red mix blue. And then green and blue mix red. Hey, there we go. Uh, I need my sleep, so thank you for your words again, Platt. And I'll see you around. Fudge, it's always a pleasure. Um, you know, if you ever need to be here and just sit and listen, you never need to talk. If you just need to relax, we're always here. But I appreciate you greatly and have a great rest of your day. Uh, yes, Fudge is a great baker, and I've been blessed to see some of the creations in the past. Um, we may see them again once I launch a new Discord, but uh, these one, okay? Let's see where it leads. Okay, so we got these three now. Poop, there we go. Alright. I ran the samples. I love watching him so run. Far. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. The samples from the above ground structures, though, I tried dating them, but the results just don't make sense. None of the typical molecular markers are present. These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that would make sense given how weird everything else is. Good work, Yakut. Keep at it. This is full. Right, now if I know the uh, Talos principle are about to throw in a fuck you <laughs> to make everything a million times harder. Let's put you here. Presumably we're about to do some uh, some levitation. Uh, RGB converter, so we need uh, red and blue. Uh, oh yeah, I know what we're going to this, this is actually could be quite straightforward. Uh, select. Can I... Oh, can I not... So oh, can't select you through this. Yeah, there's the fuck you. Right, so put you there. So what does that actually do? Yeah, but if I can't aim it at them, what am I going to do? Unless I've got to... Hmm, might have to jump. Yeah, I might have to jump. I'm judging this game by the limitations of the previous game, where you could not carry with something like this in the air. Uh, okay. So we'll take you. You. And then can I jump on his, on this? I can't, I can't do it. I can't grab you. Damn it. Uh... Can I, I might have to try doing it while I'm in the air, but I don't. Okay, we can. You couldn't do this in the previous game. That's what I was... That was the problem. Uh, so where can I place you now? Because I feel like if I drop it, it'll turn off. 
I don't think I can just have it floating in midair. Oh, unless I stand on the box and place it on the box. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yes. No, I know what it is. I know what it is. Because unlike the first game, it locks the targets and you can pick it up with locked targets. You couldn't do that in the first game. Yeah, having to learn on the, on the fly about what you can and can't do. Keep connections. That's it. Yes. Yes. It's worked out some of the first game is kinks. I think that's what the problem is. It's not a problem. It's a good thing. There we go. Okay. Oh, should we follow it? We can follow it. Don't go too fast. Don't go too fast. Wait for me. Wait for me. Oh, shit. Oh, we still got it. We still got it. Okay. I thought something exciting might happen, but no. Oh, okay. Uh, rotate. Okay, so we're nearly, we're, we're halfway. Oh, bridge builder trophy. believe that Tetraminos represented the name of God and God's ability to reshape the world. Cool. True, but he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is hmm. another man's genius. Right, so we want to go to five, which is this way. Good day for gaming tomorrow. God of War DLC and New Game Plus update from Raj. Yeah, I think the New Game Plus for Alan Wake came out today as well. So yeah, it's been very good. December is the month of uh, New Game Pluses and New Game Modes. Uh, five. Where was five? This way. So Darth, what did you think? Uh, I mean, if do you want to talk about it, we can talk about it. We can talk about the weekend if you'd like to, but I just assumed you wouldn't want to. I cannot believe this is one stage of the game. I think there are like eight different locations to go to. This is the first location. Everything we've done so far here is one location of eight. So, through the door. Uh, we will take... Ah, this is a connector. This is not an RGB unit. So, this is what I'm used to from the first game. Uh... So there's the blue light. Can't go through here because it's blue. We can go through purple ones, not blue ones. Ah, I see. So this is also from the first game. This is a jammer. Jam you over there. We cannot bring tech through purple walls either. So we want you. Just check there's nothing hidden back here. The first game was absolutely lousy with uh, collectibles and hidden stuff, so... So, put you there. Jam you. Pick you up. Right, so, what are we doing? We need a blue light. Where was the blue light? I think we've got to get this all the way around here. So, blue light. Yeah, I think we need the connector. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. Let me put you here. Yes, I think that's right. So, we will take blue light from here. If we... Oh, God, can we not go around the corner with... Ah, shit. Was there anything else? I feel like I need a third thing to weigh it down, to weigh this little platform down. Unless I stand on it. Oh, yes, I see. 
that keeps that open so we can use the jammer on that door instead. So we do not need to stand on here now. Because this door will be kept open by the jammer. So now we need to get red light, blue light, and make green light. I said we need to get blue light, <laughs> red light, and make green light. There we go. I will start with Mar Marshall, get rid of lazy shit player. I've seen a clip online where he's just walking in the box, not helping at news, all. And I have bad news. Still no idea what those particle clouds are, but I've managed to fix the transport system. I mean, I fixed another bit of it. Well, it goes to one more station now. Don't Ooh. complain. Two stations are better than none. Sarcasm. <laughs> Famously helpful. What did we bring you along again? I thought I'd speak your native language, Melville. Well, knock it off before I switch it off. Let's stay focused. We're in unfamiliar territory. We can't afford to get distracted. Al's right. Yaku, what does the next site look like? It's a plateau in the Next mountains. week, Darth, is going to be a bloodbath. Maybe for both of us. Structures, less enclosed. Couldn't tell much from the drone feed. There's a lot of trees. Looks pretty, though. Okay. Keep exploring, everyone, but stay alert. Stay frosty. Okay, that's five. What is this? The word endures. Explore content on a lost terminal. Trevor. Trevor Percival Donovan, known to his friends simply as Trev, never as Percy, was part of the extended lifespan project that formed the backbone of the simulation and the archive. He helped put together the hardware that made all of us possible. Like Alexandra Drennan, he left behind a series of messages to the future. But unlike Alexandra Drennan or Arkady Chernashevsky, he was forgotten. Not one building or street in New Jerusalem is named after him. I dug up his files from the archive and I've been thinking about them a lot. Okay. I think we downloaded something about Trevor. So I heard that Alexandra is recording these time capsules for you out there, I guess. Robot people of the future. Hi. Hi. And I thought to myself, surely they'll want to hear more than the wisdom and insight of a brilliant scientist like Alexander Drennan. Surely they also want to know what I was thinking. A dumbass hardware engineer from Staten Island. Tell us about your insights, Trevor. Why did you spend your last months on Earth helping a crazy old Russian guy build the world's biggest backup drive? Well, let me tell you my story. When I was... Yeah. Yeah, yes, Frank. I'm recording right now. Uh-huh. No. no. Y you know what? Why don't you go... Well, okay. Thanks, Trev. Um, insightful. Very insightful. Are we going back the way we, ca we came? I think we might be okay. Seven this way. Oh, sorry, six. Some of the uh, sculptures here are very beautiful. Did anybody play the game Mist back in the day? Very, very old game at this point. Numero six, okay. I can imagine we're gonna start finding puzzles that I cannot do in a minute. L2. Uh, okay. Oh, so we don't need you. We need, oh, I thought you were a converter. We can't go through here. Oh, can light pass through? Maybe that's the lesson. We need green. Oh, have I got to do this from outside? Oh, no. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's what? How many light? Oh, there's a, there is a blue. Okay, so blue and red. Make green. That's not green, though, is it? Yep, 
Yeah, I can't go through. Oh, okay. So blue and red. Green. And so green and blue. Make red. Okay, I'm happy Chelsea lost as well. So Darth, my dad's an Aston Villa fan, so you can imagine how he is right now. Losing his mind. Uh, so, oh God, what do, we, what do I need for this? So that needs to be blue, that needs to be red. So, how in the... Hmm, I might need to do this in a different, different way. Because blue is locked in now. Green and red is blue. It's in big school, no. There's blue. So blue and red is green. No, we don't need green, do we? Blue and green is red. Green is locked. Ah, oh, shit. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. I, I, Yeah, there's no problem in, in what I have to do. This is very much it. How do I do it? Situation. Okay, let me let me shut all of these off. Okay. So, oh boy, blue and red is green. We don't we don't need green, do we? Or do we? Wait, let me put green central. Okay, that's like, that actually works really nicely because they're all like equidistant from each other. David Williams. Uh, oh, I think I've heard of it. I like Catherine Tate in, in Doctor Who, and I like her as a person. I wasn't really into the Catherine Tate show, if you've seen that. Um, I think I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. I think I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. Uh, is it any good? So then we get you and you to go there. Why is that not working? Oh, because I've stood in the way, that's why. Obviously. Uh, so then we need blue. Wait a minute, you need to be red, which means green and blue. So green and blue. Yeah, hold on a minute. You and you. So you need to be green and blue. Oh, I've locked green in again. Damn it. Hmm. This one's gonna be, I think it's really funny, okay. Well, I will give it a try if I ever see it anywhere. Uh, I'll give it a try. See, so blue is that blue is like ungettable, absolutely ungettable. trying to catch any episodes of the IT crowd that we can might buy it oh yeah yeah that'll be definitely out yeah I know a lot of people that love the IT crowd a lot of big fans Mr Bean nice yeah absolutely used to watch Mr Bean so much as a kid uh, yeah it's gonna be the, the line won't be able to cross. But I need like heights. Normally they give you boxes for this kind of um, puzzle. So yeah, I don't know how we're going to do that. We need blue and green. So green, blue. But yeah, it's going to get stuck. It's 
gonna get stuck. Wasn't difficult at all, just needed to reshuffle them apparently. I thought I was going to be stuck on that one for a second. I hate solving puzzles myself, but watching you solve them is Yakuts kind of fun. is the propagation stream. It might be you. It might be you, propagation stream. Right, seven is this way. Oh, hello. It's Byron. Tell me, what did you make of New Jerusalem? Uh, lovely, beautiful but decaying. Fantastic, self-contained, self-sufficient, everything's so harmonious. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's harmonious, but I'm going to go with that one anyway. It's a bit of a naive response, but I want to be nice. I don't want to start picking fights with these people because they're quite cool. You know what else is self-contained, self-sufficient and harmonious? A tomb. <laughs> We've lost faith in ourselves as a living species. I thought he was going to okay. say these nuts. We're afraid to grow, to change. Not much longer and we'll have sealed our fate. Uh... Of course, ask away. When Alexandra Drennan was trying to find a way of creating true AI, she stumbled upon the idea that curiosity and playfulness are core characteristics of intelligence. So she built the simulation around a game because playing is part of what makes us human. We also retain some of that code, as I'm sure you noticed when you were booting up. Because of that, puzzles have always been important to our culture. To me, they represent the idea that the application of reason can lead us forward. None of which explains why these puzzles are here, or who built them. But I think it shows that there must be some kind of intent behind them. Perhaps a test. It's a mystery. Not just because it's technologically far ahead of us, but because we genuinely don't understand its purpose. And I think that's wonderful. It's just what we needed as a civilization. Everybody needs purpose. <clears throat> Seven. Right, this one is tiered. What a good big brain game is. Welcome in, Barrel. Do you know what? We're still on the remedial stuff, but uh, it's going quite well. How are you doing today? It was lovely to stop in yesterday. I always do what I can, but yeah, it was good to, good to hang out with people. So I need something to hold that down. Oh, can I take the blade? Yes, I can. This was one of the great tricks of the first game, which I didn't immediately uh, realize. You can take the blades. Uh, so I don't need to go in there anymore. Oh, actually, I probably do, because I might need green light for something medium brain gamers <laughs> thankfully yeah it's it's giving me a uh, kind of a gentle start i expect it to pick up soon i'll put you there take you how how was your weekend so what do i need to actually do here i need a green light and a blue light to make a red light it's the green light. Hmm. So something has to go there as well. Um. So that's 
something's going to be lifted up to about there. But that would have no benefit for that slot there. Hmm. Made a rare effort out to a gig. Found a couple of new bands I'm now obsessing about. Nice. Very nice. That makes me happy. Not, I mean, the music stuff too, but that you uh, you pushed yourself. Yeah. It's no, no small feat to push yourself to do anything. Congrats. So if it goes up there, will that, will the light be able to see it? Just measuring out where all the places are. So that presumably needs to happen. How do I power you? Oh, with the red. Yeah, okay. So I think the first one we need to do is this one, because we've got to power that. So we need, like I said, a blue light and a green light. Let me put you there. So, so that's obviously where we get the green light from. How are we going to get the blue light round here? I feel like I'm missing one piece of equipment. Maybe, maybe I'm not. Maybe. Oops. Yeah, where's the furthest I can put you? Yeah, I have to get up there. I do have to get up there. So, you. Blue lights. How far can I shine the blue light over here? I need to find a place where I can see both. Yeah, okay. So I can just about see. Is there any foot? Can I go up any further? No. So I can see the green light there and I can see the blue light just about there. Um. Yeah, obviously then I would need to stand like this. So why can I not lift you up then? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I need to put something else down first. So connect with you. If I do this, will you stay open? You will stay open, right? That's that's something. So then, I need to find a spot where I can see that and the blue light at the same time. Which is nearly... Or is it here? So that would work. But then you'd need to see you, wouldn't you? Nearly. We're nearly there. <laughs> The, the cogs are turning slowly. We're nearly there. Uh, keep connections. So it needs to be you as well. And you. And I need to stand there. Or... Trying to make it as easy as possible. Let me put you there. Yeah, but then I can't aim you there, can I? I need something to weigh this one down over there, but I don't think it could be me.
So I'm presuming that would turn the fan on. Why is that not working? Oh, because this one's fallen down. Yeah, I think it fell down the steps. back for a bit hello welcome back so that should turn on the fan because we're sending a red light over there however i can't keep this down so i cannot run around to step on the fan we were powering it hmm where can i place where can i place them I can't place you here because then you wouldn't be able to see the red thing, would you? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, but it means we've solved it. Why can't I also open this? Perhaps that stays open. Got a fan. Boom. There we go. Boom, baby. That's number seven of eight in world one. Uh, Zaya, how's hubby? Uh, how's pot at boy? Hope you guys got home safe. Or maybe you're still there. Maybe you're waiting at the station. What did you just upload? A photo? I mean, technically, you're right, but... Is that? I can't tell what that is. <laughs> Jesus, what photo have image? you uploaded? You're, you're literally taking a picture with your eyes, Melville. I, I don't even know how to make my eyes go out of focus. Clearly, you've never listened to one of Herman's speeches. Some of us are busy doing actual science, not just sightseeing. Thank you. So is eight to cross the bridge, do we think? Is the game volume okay, by the way? I never really bothered to ask. Entanglement. It's a little bit loud on my monitor. There we go. Okay. Right, what tech do we have? We've got you. So we'll get you. You need green to power A. A fan, okay. Red. Hubby's very tired. Part that boy is good. Thank you for asking. Let's replace an oven soon. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you get it soon. Don't know if you've got any uh, holiday kind of cooking plans. I'm sure that would help you big time, right? Blue. Blue. Red. Green. Right, well, I think the first thing we'll do is we'll get all the equipment that I can see. So, yeah, we'll put you here. Select. And, oh, shit, I can't get you, can I? Uh, oh, we wanted this one, that's why. So, since we moved here, oh god, Zaya. I'm so sorry to hear that. I like making a latkes for Hanukkah, but I ran out of flour. Fre uh, fried potatoes. I believe, I believe I've had a latke at some point. I believe I've had a latke. Very good. Very good. Put you there. Right, so, red light. But we also need blue light to make green light. That's how it works. So we can take blue light from you. We can send it to here to be for the uh, for the mixture to happen. And then green light and we get a box. Yes, a delicious, delicious box. What will we do with this box? I hear you ask. 
Remains to be seen. Uh, but I think I've got a clue. Larkers are so good. Oh my god. I'm going to put you here. So we're going to need blue lights and red lights. I think we're just doing the opposite here. Uh, oh, maybe... I'm presuming... Yeah, presuming we need the power for that. Six months. Oh, boy. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. So I think what we've got to do is we've got to levitate this box. And it can shoot its laser beams down. Um, I think we need it to be floating with green. So that over here we can then make green. Or I suppose we could have it... No, yeah, I think we need green. So we need blue light from you. Uh, red light from you, blue light from you. How am I going to get... I think we've got to swap these two around, I think. Is red. That'd be absurd if landlord didn't get that fixed for you. Yeah. So. Uh. Huh. I don't think. Don't think I've got this one right. Yes, that is green light, but what would it do? Because if I float, it's not going to help anything. Uh, keep connections. Yeah, what is this going to do? How will this help me? How will this help me, Mello? I can see the red light with... Oh, I can see the red light without needing... Um, yeah, that could actually help. That could actually help. Very enjoyable, really. Having a really good time with it. Very good time with it. Yeah, graphically very strong, actually. What's your hand doing there? What, my, what, these hands? My robo hands. I mean, yeah, that is true. He's, you know what, he's been solving puzzles. If he needs to relax, I've no problem with that. Difficult to deal with, I'm sorry. Especially this time of year as well, Zaya. Do be rubbing. Right, so I think what we need to do is get red light, blue light, and have a floating green light. Um, and then I can use uh, this to catch the green light and fire it across there. So I know what to do. I don't know how to do it. Browse. Have I got some browse for you, Mello? Have I got some browse for you? I do... Oh, here we go. I was about to say, I do not. Here we go. Right, so I think we need the box here as well, which is frustrating. How are we going to have green light? How are we going to have the door open, though? Yeah, I feel like I'm one piece of equipment short to, op to keep the door open. Look at me. Look at my shadow. Look at my shadow. My brain is like 20% today. So he's saying words and I'm not, I'm just not understanding a thing. I usually am so good with puzzles. I, I, um, 
Oh, I'm trying to wrap my head around these puzzles, but it's not happening. I can explain them to anybody. We've done the first seven of eight. This is the um, um, the hardest puzzle. But um, yeah, so basically you see red light over there and blue light here. If we shine them into this and they create green lights. But what I need to do is not, can you see this connector over here that's on the red button? I need that connector um, free. I, I don't need that to be, I, I need that for something else. So if I'm up here, I can take direct red light rather than needing a connector to go around a corner. So I can get my red light, my blue light, and get my green light, and then I shine the green lights. Um, what would I do with the green lights? Oh yes, because I'll be up because my connector will be up in the middle of the air, or up in midair, and I'll beam the green light across to about here, and then this connector, which I said I, I need for something else, can then send the green light into here, and then we unlock the door. So yes, that's that's what we need to do. But I think I need the box that's here. But the problem with taking the box is then the door locks. So yeah, that's that's our problem at the moment. Um, so yes, we know the solve, but at four hours in, my brain is starting to shut down. <laughs> so this is going to probably become more of a just chatting stream for the rest of the uh, the remainder of the chat, which I have no problem with. But uh, my brain has a finite of braining. As you can see, when we do beam the green light down here, we'll beam it in here and then we get our, our thing over there. So yes, it's about... It's about, yeah, as you can see, the red light's here, but we can't... We need this to go around the corner. So it honestly feels like I'm just one piece of equipment shy. That's all we need. Surprising is not the worst. Oh, Zaya. I don't even know what to say, Zaya. I don't even know what to say. I mean, there are, there are laws against this kind of thing. Can you not, is there not, in the UK, we've got this thing called like, um, this, the, what's it called? Citizens Bureau, like every town in the country has a Citizens Bureau. And you can go there to ask about anything law related, anything kind of to do with your situation. And you could probably get people telling you about the laws that they're, I don't even know. You might want, not, you might want to not create even more shit though at this time of the year. Cause you know, they might just get really shitty with you. I, I don't know. So yeah, could you delete Riddy Crash's comments? I didn't read them, but he's made me aware that they're back seating, so I don't want to read them. Uh, so, uh, thank you. So, you need to be here. Like that. That's where you need to be. Um, No, no worries at all. It, it, it's probably right. And that's why I'm not going to read it. So that's why I asked Zaya to uh, delete it. But yeah, thankfully I, I saw your second question. I saw your second comment before I saw your first comment. Not letting me delete the comment. Interesting. Oh. Uh, okay, well, I'll just have to wait for people to keep chatting to push it out of my, out of sight. Yeah, I don't think, um, I mean, I can try, but I don't think this will float by itself. I think this needs to be stood on a box. <laughs> there we go. That's fine. That's, that's plenty. That's plenty. It's quite cold out today. Did I notice your robot? Yes, this is a big fan. So what we need to do, let me put you down there, is we need to have it so that this box is here. Right? This RGB converter is on top we're going to need to get our blue light from here our red light from here and the RGB converter will send a green light across here and to here because this will make it float in the air um, and then when, once it's up in the air I can take uh, this away 
which because I, I have to get red light by shooting it like round a corner. Let me let me give you an example actually. Take you, put you about here. So yes, the red light can come round a corner. Um, you. Yeah, this is just an example in case people didn't see of it being able to make green. So you get the blue light, the red light, and it creates green light. But that needs to be stood on here, flying up into the air. And then it needs to be... Yeah, I think I'm going to just try it by standing. I think that's the only thing I can think of. Because um, that button is set to on. So I don't need to come through here to turn it on. This is probably actually the, the solve. So wait a minute. <laughs> I've got a lot of connections to do here. So green. And blue. And red. Is that everything we need? Let's find out. Uh... Yeah, but then how do I get it in here? I think it's not it's getting caught. Keep connections. About there. So does this? Right, we can hear that the. Right, we can hear that it's working. So that's good. Oh, I forgot to connect it to one extra thing. Actually, uh, keep connections. Yeah, but we also need to connect you to here. So once it's in the air, it will connect to this also, which means we can get rid of this, put it there, and take the green light. It's just the question of how I get in there with this. Do I do I need to take the box out? Take hexahedron. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Maybe I'm. Maybe it's right, but it's in the wrong order. As per keep connections. Yeah, this could be correct, but I've been doing it in the wrong order. This could be it, guys. This could be the one. Keep connections. And then I have to stand here. There we go. That's it. And then we remove you. Because you're suspended in midair. And then we take green light from you. And we shine it at you. There we go. I don't know if I'm. <laughs> I don't know if I'm conveying. Um, Try accessing the like, tower, 1K. The, what did he say? I don't know if I'm conveying the solves well. I'm not used to being a puzzle streamer. Does that make sense? But um, it's it's fun. It's very fun. I just don't. I, I you might need to tell me if I'm good or not at explaining what I'm doing. Oh, one second time. Okay, cool. We'll know for the future. I mean, it was. It's not something a hideous, heinous crime. It just. Yeah, I just like to, I'm one of those people who just likes to solve things by myself. That's that's it. Um, right, wants me to go this way. I'm happy that we're able to solve one whole location uh, in one stream. I don't think we'll continue that, if that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so, w would honest, be honest, would you like me to explain that last one? I'm happy to explain any of the puzzles. Um... But yeah, I just done them in the wrong order. The thing about this game is you can keep the connections you've made. In the previous game, when you picked up an item, you'd lose all connections. So I've got to remember that. And that pretty makes no sense to anybody. But it's it's like a completely different mechanic in this game. So I've got to remember I can do things out of order and move things about and blah, blah, blah. Yes, it is. It is very nice. That part I do understand. Yes. Um, yeah, you had to rebuild from scratch in the previous game. Um, and so if 
if you know that RGB connector was behind a blue wall, right? In the previous game, it meant I could no longer connect to it. Also, I could no longer get it to connect to other things. So that would cause a problem because I would need to be in there with it. But now that it keeps connections, I don't need to be in there with it. So I can put it in there, leave it to its own devices, leave and connect to things, you know, just let it do its thing, basically. I, <laughs> I think I explained that horribly, but I know, I know what I mean. <laughs> and I think that's going to have to be enough for now. Um, yeah. Right, so we've got some more flashing things. This kind of wheel is flashing at us. We've got a, a gate that's, uh, maybe that's the way out, do we think? I don't know what these two triangles are for either. Um, but yeah, I cannot tell you how much I'm enjoying this. The puzzles, if it's anything like the first game, they will get sufficiently more difficult. Um, but yeah, I'm having a good time. It's still up there, can you see it? It's still up there floating. I think every new world we go to will have a different type of puzzle as well. The RGB converters, or whatever you call them, were not in the first game. So we're going to be dealing with a lot of new problems, I would imagine. Looks a bit like a spaceship now I think about it. It's got kind of the wings on the side. Um, yeah. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, do you know what I've not been doing? Yeah, for the running about, I'm going to be definitely in third person. Boing. Right. This is what that uh, symbol was for. I'm going to build a bridge. I'm guessing there's a big final puzzle as well, which I'm obviously thrilled about. Uh, Slight piece. Is this wrong? I meant to... Oh, but I didn't place it. That's why. Uh... Power wash sim, nice. I've got power wash sim. Uh, no, I didn't want to place that. Oh, shit. How do I, how do I unplace you? Uh, take, I guess. Nope. Rotate that one. So this first one is wrong, that's fine. Uh, that way? No, definitely not there. I'll oh, select a piece might there with that this might be it. Uh, no, this is still wrong. I can't get over there. Yeah, like those are the only two pieces I've got. Oh, shit. Um, no. Have I you are some of these wrong? Because that would be deeply annoying if some of these are wrong. Can I rotate you any different way? There you go. I was slightly panicked there for a second. When I was booted up, I was Not wasn't sure what was, was happening. Those are actually the only ones Can't wait to give it a try. I need a good de-stressor to wind what? down for the day. Do you know what? If I uh, get back into playing um, Lies of P, or maybe Crash on Friday, I might have to delve into some of that myself, actually. Right, we're heading in, everybody. Use elevator. Has it got co-op, Sam? Because that could be quite fun. Oh boy, this is going to be a big fucking puzzle, isn't it? 
In the beginning, Hello? the gods Sphinx. shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the created? What the hell are you talking about, lady? The creators because they came from nature. They are the same, for they share the same breath. They're created because they came from art, not chaos. Neither, they cannot be compared. Neither, because perfection is impossible. Jesus H. Christ. Right, does anybody want to state their case? I'll, I'll quickly hide myself. Does anybody want to state their case for which we should choose? What do we like, gang? What do we like? What do we like? So I guess, what the fuck he does? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily think any of this is held against us. Um, brain is not brain, you have to agree with Mello. All right, we're doing it. I speak in riddles because the world is a mystery. When Prometheus saw that humankind was more alike in nature to Those the braids, gods though. than to Am I right? animals, Those he stole the secret of fire from Olympus and shared it with the mortals. Was his theft justified? Uh, oh, I'm a big braids guy, yeah. Yes, because knowledge belongs to... Oh, Jesus, this is going to be something, isn't it? Oh, right, strap in, everyone. Yes, because parents should not leave their children helpless. Yes, because knowledge belongs to all. No, fire was not for humankind to have. No, because knowledge must be earned, not given. Seriously, I have no idea what you're going on about. Zeus did not create fire. It was not his to own in the first place. I'm going to say knowledge begins uh, belongs to all. Fire may belong to the child, but the child will still burn itself. Angered by the betrayal of Prometheus, Zeus punished humankind by creating Pandora. He gave her a box, and when she opened it, what's in the box? He escaped sorrow and suffering. All that remained within was hope. What does this mean? Hope may still be found if we are willing to look for it. Zeus intended for humankind to have hope. It should have been released. Zeus intended for humankind not to have hope. So it remains trapped. Hope is, an, uh, is itself an evil, like sorrow and suffering. We are lucky it did not escape. They say it's the hope that kills you. They say it's the hope that kills you. We suffer, but we do not anticipate it. This is a blessing and Zeus intended it, as Zeus intended it. Why couldn't Zeus open the damn box? <laughs> oh my God. Four hours into this stream, this is not what I was hoping for. Give me the puzzles, God damn it. Um... I don't know, Sam. Maybe a cola tonight. What do we think? Maybe have a cola first, then maybe a neck oil second. Just, yeah. It's good to do everything in moderation, you know? Everything in moderation. Uh, what do we like? Should we cynical? Hope is itself an evil. What do we, what do we like? I have a feeling they're going to aggregate our answers and they'll tell us what percentage of people said what. Which I'm, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to. Uh, I think one of these two. Right, do we want to go cynical or do we want to go nice? Mello, I'll let you, this is a binary choice, okay? Hope may still be found if we're willing to look for it. Hope is an evil. Like sorrow and suffering. We are lucky it did not escape. Cynical. Those without hope say so to comfort themselves. Creature of clay, you stand before the fire. Will it make you whole, or will it destroy you? Consider the shadows cast by the flame, but do not mistake them for truth. If this is a laser, I'm into it because this is very the witness. Activated is connecting to the pyramid. This is exactly like the witness, and I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Grasslands Ring. Activate the tower at the Grasslands Ring. 
I'd say there are two distinct issues here. What is the being 1K spoke to? And what is the function of the beam? Let's start with the Sphinx. It seems similar to the apparition in New Jerusalem. Presumably, Some the would same say technology. identical. What I'd like to know is what we're dealing with, ontologically speaking. Was this a sentient being or some kind of recording? I see. I, I think it's a security system, but I also think it was sentient because it was reacting to what I was saying. Dude is asking. Him. <laughs> Mello, send help. Send help, please. Um, I kind of I I want to say that one and that one because I don't think they're you know I think they're connected. We'll go with sentient. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's intelligent. Let's assume for a moment that 1K is right and it is intelligent in some sense. What really matters here <clears throat> is what it was trying to achieve by asking those questions. I think they're trying to, because I think the whole game is based on um, evolution and the evolution of these androids. I think that's a big part of the first game. Maybe they're trying to see how far we've come. Maybe they've been away for like 10,000 years or something. They don't want to see what's become of us. It was testing me. Testing you to what? See if you're worthy? That's an interesting This game has got a great sense of humor, I will say. You solve the puzzles, you get access to the towers, you enable a beam, and if you do it three times, you get access to the megastructure. I'm, I met Mello, seriously, I am very why? pleased with this. I think this is extraordinary. Know. It's a mystery. Don't you like mysteries, Al? Everybody likes a good mystery. You know what I like? Certainty. Here we go. Come on, I'll live a little. We should be careful. We don't know that these apparitions are benign. That's the spirit. 1K, keep solving puzzles. The rest of you, as you were. The rest of you sit around doing absolutely nothing to help at all. Do not get involved. Do not help. Oh, what's that? I just want to quickly see if there's anything worth uh, pillaging around here. I, oh, I don't, actually, I thought I was getting a bit stuck, and I don't want to get involved with being stuck. That was my poor man's Doctor Who thing. Right, so, where's the beam? If people haven't played The Witness, genuinely a sensational game. Um, oh, so the beam is on the other side, which I don't think we have access to. I think there's like an invisible line along here. Everything that side we can, that's where the puzzles were. I think everything that side might be nothing, if that makes sense. Oh, oh, I thought this would be a bit deeper than this. Looks like we're going for a swim, guys. Oh god, I hope I'm not stuck down here. I think we're okay. I think we can walk up here. Um, yes, the witness, there were lasers. I feel like I'm home. This feels very familiar to me. Oh wait, the laser no, the laser's going that way. It just wasn't showing when we were very close to it, I don't think. Yeah, I think we were we couldn't see it because we were right down there and it was kind of being blocked by there. But yeah, there's the laser. You can see it even better underwater. There we go. Perfect. There are some question marks on the map. What would you like me to do, gang? Are we going to the question marks or are we going to uh, World 2? We could save World 2 for tomorrow, actually. Do, 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 do. I think there are some forgotten mysteries here, they said. Activate towers one of three. So you're telling me there are more towers, like I can, do I have to go to uh, different locations to activate the towers? Dead city. From considerations of beginnings and endings by Elwyn. Oh, number 258. I think all that time Athena spent in the dead city changed her. I don't think she had conceived of the goal before. I think she believed fully in the naively optimistic ideas of Alexandra Drennan. But walking through those ruins is a visceral experience, and she spent a great deal of time there looking for resources. It's the sheer amount of death that gets to me. 
how many animals our ancestors killed, many to the point of extinction, entire species eradicated, sometimes for the most superficial reasons. Whenever humans arrived somewhere, death would follow, and then the great blowback. The deaths of billions of thinking beings, the extinction of humanity itself. It's too horrific to truly imagine. But I suspect the founder spent a great deal of time doing just that. That's when she must have realized that there was no way back to the growth obsessed, all consuming civilization of the past. Uh, in case you weren't here at the beginning, they've capped their done here for now. growth at a thousand. Over to the next site. So there are only a, th I, I'm one K, I'm the thousandth. So yeah, there will be no more. I think for, you know, resources wise. Um, how do I get out of here? Let's see if we can find the rest of these question marks and then we'll go and see what World 2 looks like. I'm quite excited because do you remember when we stepped foot in World 1? When we were on our little train journey. Cafe Al Latte, hello, how are you? I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you had a lovely weekend. We are playing some Talos Principle today. I don't know if it's a game you played. But I'm um, having a great deal of fun with it. I, I think I'm so <laughs> I think I've got myself slightly lost. Thank you, Zoe. Yeah, we've just beaten the first world today. We've only started it today. Boo, 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 boo. Put the tree up and decorated the tree. Lovely. Fantastic. It's, yeah. We're getting there. Oh my god, oh my god. Um it's almost time but yes um that's really exciting i hope you had a lovely time doing it uh i've heard some christmas carols today uh where are these final question marks oh there's one up there so how do we get up there yeah this is kind of a puzzle game but there's a lot more exploring than there was to the first one this is a sequel um so yeah we're just kind of discovering the place but we're going to go to the second location shortly I just need to find my way across here. We're heading just to a question mark because I'm I'm curious. Oh, I keep seeming to find dead ends, which is not ideal. Where are the bridges? Oh, is it over there? Up a tree and decorating almost a decade. Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a weird time of year. Um, we all have different associations with it. And um, it's, you know, it can be a good time of year for people. It can be a not so good time of year for people. But that is a really positive story. And um, hopefully, you know, should you choose to, I hope it's something you can, you know, continue to do. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for you. That sounds like wonderful news. Okay. Oh. This is a forgotten puzzle. It's strange that some of these puzzles seem disconnected from the rest. Like it's all unfinished or still evolving. I just stopped caring for so many years. Then a couple of things happened close to Christmas where I couldn't stand the time of year. So this year really going all out since I felt like decorating finally. That is, I'm really proud of you. Um, that's a wonderful thing to do. I'm sorry, obviously, that bad things have happened. But yeah, we, we've, we've got some people in the community that um, aren't particularly keen on this time of year. I'm, I've got mixed feelings. Um, I get a lot of seasonal affective disorder. Um, and so I, I don't hate it, but I don't, you know, it's not like the same as I, you know, when I was a child or anything like that. Um, yeah. Got, I've got a lot of mixed feelings about it, but that sounds really positive. And hopefully, you know, you feel the benefits. Um, and yeah, I hope it, I hope it, yeah, something you want to continue to do, you know. Um, take you. I'll put you here. So, red. This one's going to be a doozy, I think. 
This one's going to be a doozy. Oh, yeah, we've got two more in here, so that could, that could definitely help us. Uh, we need green. So can we get red light from you? We can, I think. No. Oh, yes, we can. Yeah, because you're not that, are you? Yeah, we need to bring you over here, I think. Hello, Kensington. I was really missing my dad this year, but I'm doing this in honor of him. He would be so fucking proud. So fucking proud. I think when, pe when we lose people, it's obvious to say, but um, they would want us to be happy, you know? Um, and so I think you've made a really, really good decision. And yeah, just be, be open-minded, you know, just, yeah, just dive in head first. There's the time of year where you can, you know, there's a lot going on. You might get invited to things, you might not. You might be someone like me that doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really like to leave your front door, go beyond your front door, but, um, yeah, I think you made a really positive decision. There we go. Right, we've got some new doohickeys to play with. And if anybody wants me to um, talk about any of these puzzles, don't hesitate. I'm happy to do so. Kensington, sorry if I didn't welcome you when you came in. I hope you're doing great, my friend. I appreciate you for, uh, for stopping by. So we've got green, oh God. Uh, I think we can do this. Chat, I think we can do this. No no worries, Zaya, no worries at all. Oh dear. This could be problematic. Or not actually, because we don't need to keep this door open anymore. So probably not. Let me put you here. So we no longer need you to be Determined to make this year and actually decorate for absolutely new traditions. 100%. It's time for new traditions. It's time for new traditions. I'm excited for you. I really am. Right, let me see. So we've got red and blue to make green. Uh, I think the only problem we're going to have is we're going to be crossing our lasers a bit. Uh, Kensington, how was your weekend? How was your weekend? Um... Hmm. Maybe. I'm going to start talking to myself for a bit, chat. I do, <laughs> do apologise. It's probably going to start happening. Yeah, I think I know. I think I've figured it out. So, uh, blue and red make green. Oh, I, it's the wrong fucking device, that's why. I need I need the, the exciting new tech, not the old tech from the previous game. I'll put you there. Yeah, I think we figured this one out. Talk amongst yourselves. Right, red and blue makes green. Oh, red and blue makes green. There we go. Right. So I think what we've got to do is go the long way around with the connectors. So blue from here to here, from there to there, and up to there, I think. This is the prob. I'll probably have to stand here, I think. So if I put you, let me go over here. So blue here to here. No. Blue. Oh, crap. What colour was on? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold on a minute. That was blue. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. So, blue. Thank you. Blue. To blue. To blue. Right, that's fine. Take that. Oh, did you? 24 people, Kensington. That's exciting. That is very exciting. Well done. 
take you, put you there. And then I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Oh, I need to. Oh, God. I need to be slightly. Got my angles slightly wrong here. Lurk and making supper. Hope you're well. This game is pretty cool. Scrap, I'm having a really good time. We just finished, um, I finished the first one off stream at the weekend. Got the second of three endings. Just starting this today. Having a really good time with it. Uh, enjoy your supper. And uh, yeah, I'll be here. We'll finally be trying to move on and not stay stuck in one place. Can't follow old traditions. So my partner helped me make some new ones. That is so wonderful. To have people in your life. It's so important to have people in your life that just get it. And they don't, you know, you don't need to um, kind of explain yourself to them or anything like that. They just get it. They get you. Um, and they just want to help, you know. They just want to help. That's really positive. Um, I think, I think this could be it. Keep connections. If I put you here, please tell me you can still have all of them. Yes, there it is. Most things in this game need to have two purposes. So that being stood on here really helps us. So then we can take from you, we can give to you. Hey, there we go. Sorry, I, whenever I get, <laughs> I try to engage with chat when I do these puzzles, but it's not. Sometimes I just uh, get lost in them. Where did that go? Oh, should we follow it? We follow it. Yeah, we can follow it. Yeah, where's it going? Where are you going, boy? Where are you going? Slow down. Slow down. They're very quick. Where did you go? Oh, you turned left. Oh. oh I don't know where it's going. Oh, you're going this way. That's interesting. I feel like I'm about to lose him. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're I feel like I'm slowing down. Oh. No. Oh, 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 oh. Aha. I see. Another set of golden gates. These must be connected to the ones near the megastructure. There All right, let's pause that for a second. Yeah, I've not played Lethal Company, Kensington, but a lot of people... Um, I have heard about the day before. Yeah, is it the game people don't think is a real game? Because um, it's it, it, they ripped off everybody else. Like, all of their marketing is ripped off from other games. And they put. I've seen a thing on YouTube where they put it side by side. They've ripped off the font from The Last of Us. Trailers, asset, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's extraordinary. It's so blatant as well. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, has it shut down? Oh, well, I'm, I hate to hear about people losing their jobs, but if you've made your whole thing about ripping other people off, then I don't really know what to say. Um, um, Cafe Al Latte, if you'd like to, I mean, you don't have to at all. But are there any traditions you would like to talk about? Maybe your, your, or maybe anybody. You know, if anybody wants to talk about, um, you know, traditions from this time of year, um, maybe we can all inspire each other with good ideas about what we can. You know, I mean, that's the thing about traditions. You know, and all, particularly oral tradition as well. Um, that's how things stay alive. You know, they're passed, and we can literally be passing traditions across the Atlantic, around the world now. So if anybody does it's want to share any, by all means. Of the simulation, right? And maybe they're like that. I know one case probably like, yay, harder puzzles. <laughs> but to me, that sounds like error code 704. <laughs> no thanks. Right. So this must be all of the the, the, uh, the forgotten puzzles. And we will eventually open this door. There'll probably be like a super puzzle within. Um, Kensington, could you whisper it to me? Because I'm not going to look at it right now and it will get lost in the chat. But yeah, thank you so much for... Uh, for thinking of me i do love you know i love talking about that kind of thing love talking about the gaming industry for me personally because of what i do and what i how i stream i always check like the day's game stories to so I, like stay relevant you know if there's any topics of conversation so i think that's a really good one actually uh 
Right, we've got another hidden puzzle, or another forgotten puzzle. I'm guessing this one's going to be really, really tough. So the forgotten puzzles, I think, are meant to be more difficult than the normal puzzles. So, yeah, this could be could be a talk amongst yourselves kind of moment. So there's the blue light. Uh, oh, God, where's the fucking red light? Okay, we can at least get a box. We got a box, everyone. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing the thing. Uh, I'm presuming I need to put you here. And so we need to get a blue, just a single blue light. Okay, that's good. Not two different kinds of lights. So a blue light, if I can put a, something about here. But then I need you, don't I, you son of a bitch? How do I get into there? Oh, so we've got to get red light, green light to here, and then blue light along here. Where? I mean, that can't be it. How do, how do I get in here? Oh, wait. I can go through purple ones, not blue ones. What an absolute moron. Red, green. Oh, and that's blue, isn't it? Uh, that's blue. That's green. So that makes red. Uh, we don't need red light. Blue light. Red light. Green light. Why would I need this? Blue light. Oh, I think this is teaching me a lesson, actually. Um, that I can send light through walls. That's not what I want. Yeah, it's teaching me a lesson, but the red light's outside, and I can't bring these through walls. I can't bring these through purple walls either. Uh, um, so maybe if I send the red light here. Got to go now. Zaya, we appreciate you, and we will catch you tomorrow. Have a lovely... Oh, you can't go through there. Oh, shit. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I hope all your... Um, everything you're doing with the rest of your day goes really well. Appreciate you. Can I send green light through this wall? No. Hold on a minute. Am I overthinking this one? No. Because I need two connectors. So what can I do here? What can I do? got to open this door but why would I want to open this door and it won't go through there will it or will it so it goes through purple got how how did that help me how did that help me so that's blue yeah but that's not gonna be able to cross the oh that's why we've got this yeah i see i think i see uh so we now need green and red uh, and red
I'm going to need you to be about here. So how does that work? might be my brain telling me we're done for the day because this doesn't seem too difficult because then I could use red and green make blue uh... oh hold on red and green to make blue yeah Sounds like I'm a Formula One driver. Box, box. So that opens. And then that opens. And then that's, that's self-sustaining now. Yeah, that's self-sustaining now. Beautiful. Put you there. Yeah, it wasn't difficult. It was uh, it was a tired brain. Returned with emergency pop tart. And oh, hello. Do you keep a few tucked away for a rainy day? Is that what it is? Uh, hmm. What what makes it emergency? There we go. So far, what do you think of this game? So Kensington, have you? Thank you for the follow. We do anonymous follows, so if you engage, I'll happily chat with you. But if you don't, feel free to lurk. No worries at all. Um, what, was the qu <laughs> what was the question? Um, Kensington, did you play the first one? Because the first one's really good, but it's like it's a fairly limited experience. This is very much not what I was expecting. You can actually like see yourself. There's a big world to explore. There are other versions of us to talk to. There's a lot more of a kind of story. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's great. First one was great too, but this is like cranked up to 11. Uh, cool. As long as that's where the uh, similarities end, I'll take it. But thank you. How are you doing today? Welcome in. Uh, Riser? I want to say Riser. Uh, let's pause there. Um, yeah, how are you doing today? What, uh, how did you find me? What kind of games you like to play? Whereabouts are you from? Uh, tell me something about you. I hide it from my hubby and only eat it if my sugar... Oh, I see. So it's actually like emergency, emergency. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. But yes, you need to invite some people around and they need to start paying the tax. That, 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 that food tax. Abby, we need it. Right, so those are the two hidden puzzles in this area, I think. That one was okay. My brain was the thing that was fall uh, failing there. Do, do, do. Uh, just the beard and hair. Don't worry, I won't compare you to him too much. Just chilling, scrolling through lives. So WK PS5. Uh, see what games people are playing. So let me tell you a bit about me. Uh, thank you very much for thinking of me, by the way. Um, I'm a variety streamer. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I assume we're in the UK. So 6 p.m. our time every weekday. Variety stream and everything 
will always be in my, if you look down the um, the schedule, I update every Sunday. All my VODs, if you want to get a sense of the games I play, um, you can see all my, oh yeah, my bot's not working, is it? Yeah. Um, can somebody, if somebody knows the link, could they drop it in? Um, all my VODs are there, so you can get a sense of the games I play. Recently we've played, um, what, did we, what have we played recently? Um, let me a quick sip of water, actually. Um, recently played things like Lies of P, the new Robocop game, uh, the new Tintin game that came out, uh, the new Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Mirage, Spider-Man 2. Uh, so yeah, we play a lot of different kinds of things. Never seen the game. Uh, so this is a sequel. The first game is really good, but this, my God, this makes the first one look like the crude crayon drawings of a five-year-old. Maybe, maybe a three-year-old. Yeah. yeah, this is taking the game up to like a completely different level. Uh, but yeah, I like the fact that you can go first person, third person. Good idea, Abby, yeah. I, I will at some point, when I get around to it, I still need to send you and Zaya boxes of UK snacks. I fully intend to. But um, the whole me not leaving the house much these days is adding to that slightly. I'm going to need to help somebody. It's like an ultra-realistic Skyrim. It's, um, so I've never played Skyrim. But yeah, this is very much like it's a puzzle game. And so we're in the first hub world. And we've been solving puzzles all day. Um, yeah, just kind of blown away this by it. This is very similar to the structure where you found the schematics. Um. Check out the terminals. Maybe there's something that will help us understand who built this place. Yeah. They have to have left something behind. Yeah, it's funny because my only critique from the first game was that it was very um, graphically, it was kind of shitty graphically. I can't lie. This is like this is unreal. They've they've really stepped it up. Um, it came the first one came out in 2014. This one came out I think last month or the month before. Um, but yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, that that's portal. Do we think this is a this is a nod to Portal? Look at this. Puzzle games aren't my usual, but this one looks good, I can't lie. So puzzles, they're not they're not my usual either, but I, I have played Maquette in the past and the Witness in the past. And I'm getting a little bit more into them as um you know things progress. We've recently played Viewfinder. Viewfinder's not very difficult. Um, but this I think is like a real hands-on puzzler the talos principle one and two so yeah I, i'm it's something new for me but i'm kind of enjoying it i think <laughs> once we get a little bit deeper into the game my my level of intellect will start smacking up against um a spike in difficulty i can imagine but yeah we're having a good time with it kensington i played the new avatar game and that was pretty graphically nice this is yeah this is pretty special. We played The Walking Dead Destinies as well, Riser, um, because I had to see what the opposite of hype was about. I had to see if, if, if it deserved all the terrible things people were saying it. Um, it did, um, but yeah, this, this makes, yeah, this is incredible. Look at this though. The opposite of hype, yes. We need, a, we need a, the opposite of hype. All right. I'm not going to read these. A lot of it will be in like like um, like binary code and stuff like that. Uh, when the founder awoke, leaving the garden behind forever, there were two more whose bodies had been anointed by the progenitor. The gold disc breathed breathed life into them, and their names were Eustathius and Cornelius. The founder showed them all she had discovered. Together they explored the dead city and saw the ruin to which humankind had fallen. It was then that the founder understood that the sins of the past must not be repeated, and that only through humility could the future be saved. Aside from Cornelius and Eustathius, uh, there were ten whose bodies the progenitor had not anointed in due time. Now it was upon the founder to complete this work and begin the resurrection. In this matter, Cornelius proved of great assistance. After many tribulations, the ten were brought to life. And these 12 that were born after the founder are called the first companions. 
These are their names. Eustathius, I don't know why that one keeps tripping me up. Cornelius, Aurora, Sun, Sarabai, Byron, uh, Malampus, Yemo, Hypatia, Neve, Bene Beneroya, and Lift Rassir. Lift Rassir? It's funny how you can take something that's 90% true and 10% false and create something that's 100% misleading. I love that. Uh, okay, I think that'll do. I'm not going to read that one. So I'm guessing, everybody, in World 2, we're going to get this kind of puzzle, and I'm quite excited. A little bit trepidatious as well. Uh, we already went in here, didn't we? Yeah, right, let's go back to the surface. I think we've basically got everything you can get in the first hub world. Um, let's head, let's head out. Okay. We may have done everything. Uh, where, where is out? <laughs> where, where is the way out? I've not seen that in a while. Uh, all I've heard about the Walking Dead Destinies is disappointing. So, what, it was curious because we had, um, a load of people in here that had never, um, obviously hadn't played the game. We played it week of release. Um, I like to play new releases. Um, and they were all telling me, I love this character, I love this character. I don't know if Mello is still here. Uh, I think a huge fan of the first two or three seasons. <clears throat> and some of the character models are just so bad. And, um, the cutscenes have no movement. The, the, the characters don't blink. There's no lip movement, no lip syncing. But there is like dialogue pumped over the cutscenes. Um, all of my... One second. I'm just, I mean, you might not give two shits, but all of my um, VODs for The Walking Dead can be found here. That game where... <laughs> uh, yeah. All the VODs for the, work, um, the Walking Dead and all of my VODs are there. Um... So yeah, you can get a sense, riser of what we play and what we will be going back to. We do polls occasionally for what we're going to play, so yeah. Uh, Melville, hello. Did something break? I did. It's interesting. The tech is a bit older, but it's been heavily modified to be more efficient. And it's not the kind of hack job you'd expect either. Whoever did this knew what they were doing. We could probably learn something from them. Okay. Did you have another question? Yes, but I'm not liking the results. <laughs> Confusing, irritating, infuriating. Take your pick. I think we're going to leave that there and we're going to go to the second world if we can. Uh, however we get there. How did how did we get here? We, we flew in. Did, oh no, I took the little train thing, didn't I? How do we leave? It'll be a symbol. It'll be one of the symbols. Oh, is it this? Yes, I think it's this. I can see it on the map. Uh... I think I've already used this one, haven't I? Yeah, I think I've done that one. Um, nope, dead end. The train thing's cool. Very cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what the second world looks like. I like how fast he is. Yeah, this is the way. This is the way home. Sean! Hello, Sean. Welcome, Raiders. Hello there. Welcome in. How are we doing today? Sean, what were you playing? I think, Sean, you're good with their video shoutouts. Is that right? Sean Corn. Hello, friend. Welcome in, Raiders. If anybody needs to hydrate, have snacks, get away from screens, take your medications... Raid and run. 
Uh, do what you need to do. Blitzkrieg, welcome back, friend. Just expect a scuffed clip. They're the best kind. Two, two ends. Did I get it right? There Jenny, we go. How you doing? How are we all doing, guys? I fucking did it, chap. Oh, oh, I'm in. I'm in. It was there from Jim all along. Cox! Jump King. Jump King. I recognise it. Jump King. I watched somebody play that and it drove them to near insanity, Sean. I watched somebody play that, it drove them. Oh God, I mean, I've never seen real emotion like that. Never never shouting, never screaming, but you could see the heartbreak. You could sense the heartbreak. Oh boy, that, oh, I don't think I could, I don't think I'd put myself through that. A proper rage game, I could never. So he, so this guy, he's, he's, um, he's a real trier. I think you've got to beat, to, to platinum the game, I think you've got to beat it like four times. Each time you, you win like a different piece of clothing or something. Um, yeah, unreal. Um, we are playing the Talos Protocol 2. Sorry, Principle 2. The Talos Principle 2. Uh, having a really good time with it. If anybody's played the first one, this is like that game cranked up to 11. I, I've never known a jump in everything between a first and second game in a series. Um, yeah, this, this is wild. Um, the Blitzkrieg, how are you doing, friend? How are you doing today? I think we're going back to the hub world. We basically, I think, beaten this first world like a drum. Uh, let me see, what have we done? Let's see. Eight of eight, two of two. Oh, Norton one gold puzzles. Yes, now I think we know. How do we open the, should we actually, hold on a second. Should we go and see if we can find that gold puzzle? Should we go and see, because I think we, 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 we found gold doors, but we didn't know how to open them. Should we see? I mean, it's, it's going to be really, really tough. The puzzles are getting um, more tough as we go through, obviously. Watching Sean get smooshed by robots was a good... Oh, sorry, Sean, what were you playing? Did you tell me? You may have told me. The first one has always made me want to play, but I never got around to it. I've been playing it for the last three weeks, on and off. It's one of those games, Sean, it's just got under my skin, you know? Oh, Lies of P, sorry, yeah, I should have guessed. Puppets and robots, yeah. I will be going back to that game at one point, but I think I'm, I think this might be our new favorite thing we've got for a, hold on a second, what the fuck is that? What, what is that? Oh, Sean, Alan Wake 2 is so good. I've not finished Alan Wake 2. We won't go into why, it's not the game's fault, it's my fault. That's all I'll say, Alan Wake 2. It, I think it won for best like storytelling at the Game Awards. I have no, no like I'm not surprised. Absolutely un unbelievable game. Outrageous. Some of the new mechanics, like I've seen, it does things. I won't, no spoilers, but I'm going to tell you now. It does things in that game I've never seen in other games before. The way they have they that they tell a story, it's entirely new, and it's very exciting. I, I need like a, <laughs> I need like a double jump to get up there. What is that? What is that? I, I need a double jump or I need to be able to scale this wall. That's wild. Um, okay. I think we found there were like a... To play, to play this? Honestly, no. I would say no, but it's a very short, fun game. So I would... It will, it will very much give you a... Um, you could probably consider the first... Oh, for Alan Wake. Um, I would probably say yes. I know that we've got somebody in the community, um, Jenko, who's not going to play the first game. Well, I think he's played like half of the first game about five years ago or something. Um, I would I would say yes. Again, it's not a, not a particularly long game. It's longer than the Talos Principle one, that's for sure. But there is a lot of lore that you probably need to understand. But... You know, in this day and age, watch your catch-up video on YouTube if you really don't want to. Um, it's entirely up to you, Blitzkrieg. But yeah, I, I had a good time with it. I had a really good time. It, it, it would, I, mechanically, it'll feel very dated now. It, it felt very dated to me, but it's still got something, you know. 
Um, Alan Wake 2 feels like the future. That's what I will say. Alan Wake 2 felt like, wow. Some of the ways they, they choose to tell that story just... It's got its flaws, but yeah, that was that's a special game. Uh, I've been so ready to play it. Sat and watched the Game Awards and my partner at the weekend. I was like, I need to... <laughs> The only thing I'm just sorry about, Sean, was did you see the song and dance number, by the way? If you didn't, I'm not going to say anything else, but did you see the song and dance number? You didn't. My lips are sealed. My lips are sealed. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Um, you're in for an absolute fucking treat, Sean. That's all I'll say. An absolute treat. If you... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited for the... <laughs> I'm excited for the journey that you're about to go on, my friends. <laughs> it's wild. It's absolutely wild. I can't find these gold doors, unfortunately, guys. Yeah, we found some big, juicy gold doors. And uh, I think there's like a super puzzle behind it. So uh, we w Ugh, if, I, if I knew where it was, I'd show you. But yeah, we've solved all, all of the eight puzzles that were here. We solved the two additional, more difficult puzzles. So I think what we'll do is we'll go... We'll take the train back to the hub world. And uh, we will go to... The second location. The second location. If I oh god, if I can find my way back now. Oh, oh, am I am I stuck in here forever? Help, help me, friend, robot friend. Right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're okay. We are saved. Right. So it was this way. Yes. Yeah, there's a, um, a little icon. If you can see right at the top, you can see like little icons on my on my map for like different things like question marks and triangles and things. But I don't think the gold puzzle has a marker. So, annoyingly. Boing, boing, boing. Right, let's go home. So I think we'll go back here just to show you guys what the mega structure looks like. There we go. So yeah, this is kind of um, where we go to all the different locations from. I presume we can still go back out. Uh... There we go. There's the mega structure. How cool is that? It's big. <laughs> that sure is mega. They were not lying. So what we just did um, allowed us to fire. Oh, that's why that thing's there. We saw that get built. Um, I'm heading to bed, but just wanted to come by and say I hope your day and your stream have been good. Uh, Lottie, I appreciate you. I hope you sleep well. My stream has been great. All the better for you being here. Um, yeah, we've been playing a wonderful puzzle game and it's quite spectacular. Um, yeah, I'll happily show you tomorrow um, a little bit if you'd like to see. Either way, have a great rest of your day. Sleep well and I'll, um, I'm sure I'll catch you four more times this week. You know where. So yeah, have a great rest of your day and thank you for stopping in. Uh, so when we arrived, there's this kind of stuff that's like um, like purple mist, and it's creating structures. And it created this thing here, if you can see. And we, I obviously didn't know what it was for. Um, but yeah, this is where the location we were just at. We created a laser beam that's hit there, and it's come back here. So I think once we hit this with three laser beams, some kind of indoor puzzle may open. Um, the first game famously had three endings. I achieved the first... I've only been playing it for the first, last three weeks, the first game. Um, we achieved the first two. I will achieve the third. It's very difficult, though. So this might be for ending number one or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I think we probably have the ability to fly back to New Jerusalem as well. Um, maybe not, actually. We might, be, we might be stuck here for now. But yeah, this is how we arrived from uh, New Jerusalem. So... Shall we go and see what world number two looks like? Oh, hold on a second. There are markers for gold doors. Uh, we will go over here. This won't be the gold doors um, 
I don't think we'll be able to open these gold doors, but we may have been able to open the gold doors in the first hub world if I could have found them. Um, yeah, I think there's probably a lot more to do to get through here, but they're pretty sweet. World 2. Uh, how did I... How, how do I get back to... Oh yeah, I can see it on the map now. No? Where is the... It's showing me the marker on the map. Is it moving? No. Oh, maybe was I supposed to just go this way? There might be a clearing that I'm just walking around accidentally. Oh, it's underground. Duh. That's why. Yeah, we've got to go back down the stairs. That's why. <laughs> That's why I wasn't there. Enter capsule. All right. Let's go to world number two. Let's see what it looks like. Wooded plateau. So the first one was grasslands ring. Wooded plateau. A heavily forested plateau in the mountainous eastern part of the island supports a large deer population okay let's go curious to see what the new puzzles look like all right everybody i'm sure you're all excited to check out the next site but while you're there remember that i'm still trying to fix the rest of the transport system you know to get that success rate up a bit Maybe there's another one of those labs that Wong K found. If there is, look for more documentation, please. Here we are. This looks very Liza P ish, I will say. But that, that kind of structure, you know? Like the cathedral, I think, in Liza P, maybe? Something like that. Eight puzzles. Uh, that's that. That's the way out. Mm. <laughs> right. That could be a very good time to raid out. Right, we're going somewhere. This is their first ever playthrough. We'll keep the game a secret. No spoilers though, if you've played it before, please and thank you. If anybody wants to grab this as well. Oh, none of my fucking shout outs are working. Oh, none of my um, commands are working, so we can't even do the raid message. I'll be here tomorrow and we'll do World 2 of the Talos Principle too. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. Have a great rest of your day.